Excellent. Okay. Place to Beretta. Everything is prepared. Uh, so. Let me get right to the music. Here we go. That classic vacation tune. The Island Jams. Okay. So. On the last episode, Beretta arrived on Steel Gold Island, met a bunch of the locals, heard some rather mysterious things about the island as a whole, and explored some of the backwoods. There she discovered a mixture of technology that looked new and old just the same. Apparently, this island has been... Attempts have been made to settle this island multiple times in the past, but none have proven successful. The remnants of those earlier expeditions onto the island are a testament to that. Afterwards, she returned back to the inn and enjoyed, honestly, a really nice time in the hot springs, telling a tale of a city called Indigo. Afterwards, she had a drink and managed to keep it together for one of the first times in her life. Yes! Afterwards, she returned back, had a heart-to-heart -heart on the beach, and, unbeknownst to her, the boat that would have been used to flee the island should anything go horrifically wrong was burned in the early hours of the morning. But... Bretta, that's not your problem. The sure only thing that you're thinking about right now is the sound of those sweet summer cicadas. As your eyes remain firmly closed late into the morning, but this is interrupted by a loud tapping. Impact after impact stirs you as someone pressed to the window is attempting to wake you up. Stop tapping. Stop tapping. <gasps> You're not worthy anymore. This... <laughs> there you go. Now you can. Privileges. After the third impact on the window, Greta <laughs> juts awake. <laughs> oh no! Little man, is that you? <laughs> oh no, it's my first day on the island and I'm already late to my first rumble. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Beretta clumsily gets dressed into the same outfit that she was already wearing. And then she runs over <laughs> To, and uh, grabs her butcher knife in her mouth. <laughs> she, she, she grabs her sword and puts it in her mouth and runs out the door, <laughs> stumbling as she does over her sandals. You grab your sword, you put it in your mouth, and you run, panicking, into the middle of town. The sun's already been up for like an hour or two at this point. You're not usually this late. What is this? 8.30 a.m.? Unbelievable! I've truly gotten lazy on this vacation. You... You run into town. Little man at your heels. I will give you powers over the little man. <laughs> and... As you enter into town itself... You notice an odd calm over the place. Like... Hmm. Something seems off. There's a rather large gathering of people in the middle of the square. Of course, there's about to be a rumble. Yeah. Makes sense. So... That more or less is the situation. Unfortunately for the foreseeable future, we are... We're stuck here. I understand that it is my duty as the leader of this small port to arrange us perhaps alternative transport, but at the same time, I have to say I'm, I'm out of ideas. Uh, the best we can do is potentially hope for... We can hope for that ship to come back week, week and a half. We are due another shipment of supplies, and afterwards we can ask them to bring back word we should... We should have a replacement transport before too long, so I only ask now for your patience, first and foremost. They say, looking around at everyone gathered here. Bretta. It's about then that Beretta runs in with her sword in her mouth, panting. She bends over. 
sorry i'm late guys um <laughs> did i miss the fight <laughs> huh? you you didn't miss anything don't worry i was waiting here too i don't really know what they're talking about but i was waiting to fight you <laughs> <laughs> um you, uh please you two uh at least for now i understand you had the concept of a duel in mind can we put it on hold temporarily what no <laughs> Yeah, we, we're, we're supposed to. I'm I'm supposed to prove the honor of of my gang, you know. I understand. Yeah, and I was looking forward to being rowdy for the first time in a week. We are in a relatively <laughs> um. We're in something of a crisis scenario. Sakura, can you help me out here? He steps up. Any sort of grudge matches will need to be put on hold for now. We can't have you breaking a bunch of crap when we just lost a boat. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, you you lost a boat? Someone burned it down last night. Wonder who that could have been. <laughs> Steps he, around this side. Turns over. Yeah, wonder who. <laughs> well, looks like I have two things to investigate while I'm here then. <laughs> Please, if you'd love to investigate, it'd be great if you could make yourself useful. Yeah, I know a cop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sir Elliot perks up. It, is there a. Is there a cop on the island? <laughs> no, but I, oh, I, okay, I had dinner with one, so I'm basically a police officer. <laughs> Don't say that about yourself. <laughs> For a second, a look like crosses her face, and then she's like, uh. <clears throat> uh, Yuri sort of moves in a little bit. Your, in your expertise in investigating would be useful, but at the same time, I have to admit, it's rather suspicious. The day that you appear, the boat burns. Expertise Are you implying too, that I would I burn my own way off of the island? Uh, he, like, looks at you and shrugs. Uh, I'm... We admittedly have had some mysterious circumstances leading up to yesterday, but nothing as severe as a boat burning. No, it's fine if you want to accuse me. I'm just trying to work through the mental gymnastics that would bring somebody <laughs> into thinking that I would arrive onto this island, find out that it's haunted and that nobody can survive it, and then trap myself here for the rest of my life, I assume? Well, I suppose yes. that depends. Are you the kind of arsonist drunk or something? Ooh, I don't know what kind of drunk I am. <laughs> but I suppose nothing's off the table. <laughs> That's true. That's a very fair point. <laughs> Regardless. Well, Please. yeah, tensions seem to be climbing a little bit. Sorelia inserts herself in the middle of oh. everyone. So, I know a good way that we can resolve your brawl, and at oh. the same time, we can work out uh, any sort of aggression that you have going on right now. Does that sound amenable? Whoa, a tournament arc? In a manner of speaking, yes, but it's a very rapid tournament that gets everything solved relatively quickly so we can move on with our lives. Yeah, that sounds oh. convenient. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well then, clap hands together. It's been on my mind since yesterday. What does everybody say to a good old fashioned baseball game? <laughs> Beretta's eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> Given a second. <laughs> and we're gonna. A short time later. No, no, no. This is a normal island theme. We need a baseball theme. Let's, uh, let's do, uh, yeah, this one will do. It takes a bit to set up your ideal baseball stadium, but with the assistance of Dumbbell's crew, you drag the stadium that you found up in the woods all the way down to the beach and Incredible. slam it in position. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you, Aloha. <laughs> ah. now, now, Dumbbell, you might not be the tightest of bros with your group. I won't admit that yet, but you guys are a hell of a construction team. <sighs> I guess I'll accept that, but you're going to have to accept that that construction teams is basically the soul of being a tight, cool gang. You know, you know, I heard that that uh, uh, mobsters often are construction gangs, and there's nothing tighter than a mobster. I think that's what I heard. Yeah, if they're still around. <laughs> <laughs> 
you two have taken your positions at the head of everyone else. Now is a very important decision to be made. It's time to pick your teams. Oh boy. Yes. Going down the list, you have to construct your ideal. Uh, I believe this is a a is it is it five v five or six v six baseball game? Uh, six v six. Excellent. Construct 6v6. your team. Uh, of course, it will come down to a coin flip of who gets to pick first. Oh, of course. Oh, there we are. All right, yeah. coin flip. Yeah. A coin flip, yeah. eh? Yeah. Get him. Heads or tails. What are two? Uh, I hate when Christian makes me flip a coin. <laughs> um, tails. Because right, it never tails fails. Is two, then. Yeah. All right. Dang it. Well, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I get first pick. Okay. Uh, Dumb looks across the list of people that are recruitable, and Dumb looks. Mm, 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 uh, she she points over uh, and and points at the very end of the line. You got it, big little man. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Borana <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> clutches her heart and falls to her knees. <laughs> Man, super little, but that means he's gonna make great for catching. I think. I heard if you're small and you got like really good hands, then you're best for baseball. <laughs> Bretta, how does that make you feel to have the little man taken away? <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm going to give her everything that she deserves over the course of this <laughs> baseball game. <laughs> uh. Hey, Dad, how's your hip feeling? Ah, uh, uh, still hurts a bit. Hold on, hold on. I got, got, give me a second. He runs inside and then back out and dragging these from storage, he thump, thump, two benches touchdown. There we go. Oh, my hip hurts again, like a little bit, but we got benches now. All right, cool. As in, I'm picking count cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! You kind of like comes that up, kind of just like slow, like jogging up to the side, pats you on the back. Are you ready to go? I got my baseball hat out. I'm gonna it's call a... you the Ice Man. Oh, Ice Man! Yes, I got the. What, what's our team name? I, may I suggest Vat Vatters? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, the Vat Vatters. Yeah. <laughs> He, he, he just makes a bunch of flexes and, like, gets hyped up in the back, uh, eyeing across a little man and choosing him as his rival for this game. <laughs> and then it's, afterwards, it's Dumb's turn. Pass it over to Dumb. And, uh, Bretta, you feel, uh, as you look over and see her selecting, you feel cool come up behind you, and he slaps something on your head. Oh! <laughs> a hat on top of a hat. A hat for my hat. <laughs> uh, and the dumbass is like, How did you know I was going to agree to that name? Uh, well, I, I just knew it was very good. <laughs> uh, he he just kind of gives you, you finger guns as uh, across the way. Uh, Dumb looks over. <laughs> Watch this. I got a real big play for you, Beretta. And... They point across at William. I'm gonna turn your own dad against you. Oh, uh, and he selects yeah. the man with the pain. Dad. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Beretta, Beretta pulls her hat down over her eyes and she grins. <laughs> Just as planned. <laughs> Good luck, honey. <laughs> you too, Dad. Don't hurt your hip. I'll try. <laughs> hmm. Let's go with Sakuro. <laughs> My oldest looks... friend on this <laughs> island. He just wordlessly steps up and then takes a position up there and just kind of like pulls up his sleeves a little bit, takes off his jacket and just kind of puts it down to the side and cool just inches his way up and he's like, don't put it on my head. And he backs up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he slaps it on the head a few seconds later. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it looks great on him. 
<laughs> his oh oversized God. hat rests on his head, and he just kind of closes his eyes and takes a breath, and then just sort of accepts it. <laughs> Beretta looks at him. She says, "I know you work hard, but I know you play even harder." <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, oh wait, let me let me let me move him a bit. He's gonna go stand over there. And then, dumbass gets. Uh, who's who's gonna? Can I ask who's good at baseball first? No, you have to go strictly on feeling. Uh... If you're truly in tune with your gang, then you'll know who's good at baseball just by looking at them in the eyes. Uh... <laughs> Stops. They look across again, sweating a bit, as they're just like, I don't... Uh... Ever, Abby! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Runs over, <laughs> takes a line back here. <laughs> and then passes over to you, Retta. Retta, now less... Oh, can, can I bring my hat? Ah, yes, of course. Let me give you control over the hat. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there. Yeah, there we go. Controlled yeah. by all. Now Beretta's kind of uh, military marching down the line, <laughs> eyeing, <laughs> eyeing the eyes of all of the potential picks that she has. <laughs> she likes the idea of Iori on the team. But she marches over here. This guy looks really cool. <laughs> hey, thanks Rising. for noticing. <laughs> I do on my off in, off in the middle distance, just kind of remaining <laughs> stoic. Oh, hell to the yeah. No, let me on the team. Can I have one of those pink hats? Heck yeah. I assume Count Cool has them. Yes, he, he kind of goes <laughs> over and he, he uh, goes and pops another cool pink hat. On oh. this fellow's head. Oh, An I entire forgot. cool pink hat. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that. that I forgot that cool hat is part of him. Yeah. Uh, this man just slaps the hat directly through his horns and just <laughs> lets it sit. <laughs> What's your nah, name, cool guy? Really cool. Uh, name's Gaius Golden Sun. He slams his chest. Nice to meet you. I respect that name, even if it is fake. <laughs> <laughs> he flashes you a finger gun. <laughs> As he flashes your finger gun. Your pal, Caius Golden Sun. <laughs> and then, dumbass is like, Oh, I'm getting fired up! Uh, um, <laughs> I know! Uh, dumbass points at Iori. Uh, and it's just like, I'm collecting all your hard counters, Beretta! How are you collecting my counters? You had the first pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, well, first it kind of turns around. Uh, I countered everyone with little man. Countered you with, with your dad. I, I don't know if Amy counters anyone. Uh, and I countered Socorro with, uh, with, uh, with, with, with the Ori, you know? Yeah, I get what you're saying. For somebody who's called dumb, you're pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> they, they nod their head and then, and then point over. Come on, next pick. All right. Hey, hey, hey! Puts up her hand. Uh, I think we're actually missing someone. Huh? Yeah, we are. This is an odd number. Uh, I. I don't know where she went. As as he starts to speak up, your gaze drifts this way as someone slowly opens the door with a big smile. <laughs> and then freezes everyone looking at her. Everybody done picking it? <laughs> nope, just getting started. Come over to my team, champ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fucking beef. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. Wait, wait. Uh, you, uh, so that's the pick. I think we're going to be one nod. Uh, but anyways, uh, Vlad quickly just pops one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And then, uh, dumbass looks across. Um, uh, you, you know, you got, you got good initiative for seeing something. He points over at a. <laughs> I think someone with good eyes is going to be good at baseball, so you get on my team. Also, I think it'd be okay. really hard to put a hat in your head, and I think it just, that's why you'll be better on my team. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Queen to me turns her head over, and then it just kind of like fills it everything again. And yeah, with eyes, and she's just kind of like, well, here it is. One of us is going to be the last pick. <laughs> it's not going to be me. It's not going to be me. Just watch this. You're, you're going down. Fucking, uh, kind of looks up your hat. Uh, I, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And <laughs> it just our books forward, and Breta, you've got an important choice to make. Oh, but the choice has already been made. Beretta yeah. steps forward to her two choices, looks them both deeply in the eyes. And then she looks at Z, Aunt Z, her Auntie Zizi, her family, her old family friend. <laughs> And she's going to whisper, she's going to lean in and whisper into her ear. Don't forget the kindness that I've given to you upon this day. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes back in line and expects you to know what that meant. <laughs> she nods her head once and then steps up and goes over here. And then she just like, she kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she gets a hat for her hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, let's. There we go. There we go. It's perfect. The picks, man. The pit, these <laughs> team <is>. lineups. <laughs> <sighs> Demean kind of looks up to the sky, adjusts the brim of her own hat, and then just uh, kind of looks over. So, uh, odd teams, or am I just sitting out? And then you you say that. And then you notice something, Demean. You, hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is something that you, you feel sometimes. It's a strange sensation, but not one that you're entirely unused to. You realize you weren't the last one picked. Someone's standing next to you. <laughs> <laughs> she oh. quietly sits there, looks across tilts her head almost inquisitively at you. <laughs> what? They uh, kind of turn and then go over and pat the shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you might be last pick. Oh, hell yeah. They look hey, hey, you want to come on my team? <laughs> <laughs> she, she quietly nods. That is amenable. <laughs> Moves yeah, over. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're with us, Demean. <laughs> she gets up, <laughs> moves over, and steps over to Zizen. Everyone who is wearing a hat is on the team where you get a hat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want the... You want the... Mm, I don't know if it'll fit with... I mean, everyone else makes two hats work, so come on! <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Demean puts his, uh, a Vad Vadders on her sea shanty's hat so that she's <laughs> dual teaming. <laughs> Let me get this set up. Okay, uh, let's do this one again. Perfect. Okay, and with that, your teams are made. This fucking lineup. Holy shit, I want to take a picture. Look at everybody's faces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Just a curiosity. There is another asset on this team that can be stacked on top of everyone else. Hey starts to nervously shift back and forth. Ami, Ami, Ami walks up. I got some leftover carrots in the kitchen if anyone wants to, like, go for a team theme. <laughs> team? Oh, yeah, we can be dumb carrots! <laughs> dumb carrots! Hell yeah, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh my Bad god. Bad Bad and it, William Garrett. gets two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ami moves around and sticks carrots on top of everyone's head. There we go. Now we all match. <laughs> uh, let me, hold on. 
on. I'm gonna take a. I've got to take a commemorative screenshot with a versus. <laughs> versus. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, goodbye birthday <laughs> <laughs> in the persona credits <laughs> but it'll never end so long as I keep these memories with me in my heart <laughs> okay so now it's uh now we're going to see who's gonna be hitting the ball and who's gonna be catching first all right well, um, hmm. I guess we can flip a coin again. Sure. I'll pick tails. It never fails. Oh, you think you're smart, huh? All right. They flip the coin again. And then we see a tails fails again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just as planned. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like I go first, so we get to pitch first. starts to distribute around so uh yeah, tactically tactically who is going where now little man has to be the catcher obviously right yeah uh okay wait wait little man hang on uh they run back here and kind of go and fetch something and then they move on up directly to little man it's like okay it's very important you don't take this off, okay, little man? It keeps you safe. All right? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. beautiful. I will, I will give incredible. <laughs> the little man has control. Yes, uh, very they, important. They put this kind of poorly fitting thing uh, on top of you, and then you are you are now free. To become pigeon. <laughs> okay, uh, dumbass. Were you were you assigning people? Basically, mm. basically to give you a quick rundown of how baseball mechanics work. Extreme elimination six v six baseball. Oh. Um, Ah, uh, yes, uh, the traditional Rao Jinwei. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, no, uh, basically the way this is going to work is you set up various people around the field and um, the person who is at bat will roll to do and if they roll high, they can choose more or less where the <laughs> ball goes and the higher they roll, the fewer people can respond to their roll to do with rolls to die to like try to catch it, etc. And if they roll high enough, it's just, it's out of here. Uh, you get your home run, etc. So, choosing where to position people actually matters a lot. I see. Okay. In which case, uh, for for this, uh, well, I think that's all cool and all. Uh, dumbass is going to uh, grab team and just uh, position them all like, hmm. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be either infield, outfield. Doesn't matter. Everyone's going like, because because dumbass is gonna gonna pitch so hard that that dumbass is just gonna gonna get it. It doesn't matter. They're not gonna hit a single ball. They'll go too fast. Wow, an <laughs> RNA in defense. Interesting. <laughs> so you're going to uh, like get, ping me on the map where everyone's supposed to be going? <laughs> uh, well, obviously, if if, if dumbass is throwing the ball, they'll they'll probably go for button because that's it so yeah. so everyone's gonna be in front of them <laughs> on the <laughs> no one even on the bases it's fine <laughs> it's fine they can stand to the sides etc this is easy <laughs> wait but if, but if everyone is standing in front of dumbass then when <laughs> oh i mean don't ball. don't stand directly in front of him you can stand oh, like boy. to the sides i got it <laughs> no you only get one order <laughs> oh boy on, okay, okay. Uh, Hey is like the largest one and is like mm, squidging over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to throw between have to horns. horns. <laughs> Excellent. This is perfect aiming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, batters, get ready. <clears throat> wow, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> hey, All right, team. Hit in the back of the head or in the stomach. <laughs> 
Sakoro <laughs> steps up. Good. Good. At least this will be over quick. <laughs> I like that confidence. Everybody on this team I picked for a reason. You're all going to find out when I do. <laughs> and <laughs> Verona's going to go sit on the bench. <laughs> I'm especially confused, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> he sits down yeah! on the bench next to you. Aunt Zizi, you're up. <laughs> all right. Zizen runs on up and and moves directly at the bat. <sighs> Luckily, ZZ Shingard is used to immense pressure. <laughs> and with this, dumbass prepares. And the game begins. Oh, excellent. So, in this instance, dumbass, I'm gonna have to ask you to do a roll to do first. Okay. And uh, then because of the special circumstances, Hay is going to have to roll to die. <laughs> I see. Uh, well, let's see. What is what would I what would dumbass roll with? Hmm. Uh, you can you can uh, roll to die first as well as the pitcher. You get the you get that initial roll to die. Okay. Well, well let's see. Oh, they're already locked oh, in. Hang on. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. <clears throat> let's go. <laughs> All okay. right. So, with that, dumbbell Damsky. Fires. <laughs> okay. We're gonna... Hey, has... uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, what are you trying to do? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If he takes off that mask, he needs to roll the die to not get killed by the <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, first things first, ball is coming out. It's flying. We got to roll for Hay to see if she gets annihilated. She does not. Hay is. She did not roll all ones for once. It passes between the targeting immediately at Shinra Zizen. Now, uh, give me a roll to do, monkey. Uh, 15. Okay. Zizen, in this case, the sudden scream will give you a 1d6 penalty on your roll. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh, no. <clears throat> um, and the I just rolled a do. monkey scream. Yeah. Uh, and then, oh, uh, sorry. First roll to die to see if you can, like, actually hit okay. it. Otherwise, oh, wait. it's a strike. I need to drop swing. Uh, roll yes. to die. Okay. Uh, 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 you just gotta, you just, you don't gotta roll high. You just gotta roll high enough. And I think mm. if you lock in any of your big stats, you're fine. Yeah. 16. Yeah. 16. Easily done. Yeah, you'll you'll pick this up and, um, yeah, give me a roll to do and then penalize it by 1d6. All right, let's do that then. Uh, oh, boy. Well, uh, 1d6. And then, <laughs> let's see. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Zizen so prepares well. yourself. Zizen, where's it going? Uh, Zizen uh, sees this, and with all her strength, she kind of arcs up and just like, so just gotta hit it? Okay. And then the <laughs> ball since launches forward, and with incredible reaction time, with all the strength and the finesse of a swordsman, she swings the sword, and it gets launched straight up into the air, high, high into the sky, and it's just immediately home run as it just smashes into the water. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beretta stands up clapping. That's a legendary hero. <laughs> she she waves as she runs across and then just makes a leisurely run. And Donuts is like, oh. Hey, if you you guys want to go to the uh, outer field, that's fine. <laughs> go, go wherever you think is best. <laughs> this one moves all the way back here. Woo. Yes, I should point out that 23, it's enough to send it to a certain part of like a certain part of this beach. But if you have a well-distributed team, people could still react to that role. Uh, however, because dumbass bunched up every single person out front, there was no chance to react. Uh, Beretta, your team scores a point. Uh, yes. Uh, Everyone's going to distribute themselves out and around. <laughs> Koro, show us what you got. <laughs> All right. And 
Then moving it here, I'll, uh, I'll I'll help move everyone out about and stuff. Is hay okay? I was gonna say, is hay not going to move? Yes. Where's hay going? Going to I'm going to not moving hay. You decide. Oh, of this. course. Yeah, no. There has to still be there has to still be no. someone up close. Don't you know. Move your horns away. <laughs> uh, Sakoro uh, steps up, moves silently, uh, particularly grabs the bat that was left behind by Zizen, arcs up, and Beretta. You were right. He does play hard. <laughs> you notice something inherent within him. Uh, he holds the bat, staring directly forward. Uh, and let's see, he's got a roll to die. Yes. Do, does the batter keep their roll to die, or they do fresh? So, uh, for for the pitcher, they can drop and re-roll if they so wish, but if you got like a six, you can keep going. Yeah. Dumbass keeps with the fiery intensity, but Socorro, let's see. Uh, I need to drop. He's got to drop. Then... And then, uh, yeah, I think that... It's I think still it's... enough to pick it up. Yeah. You okay. just got to clear the 10. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm just uh, looking at the attributes again, because I need to, yeah. need to see. Ah, it. yes, his attributes. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, which one is yellow again? My goodness. Uh, that one, I think, was the... Uh, that, that, that should be good enough. They're both like, yeah. I don't quite remember on the top of my head. I realize they're not inserted into the character sheet yet, so I'm I just going to select uh, one of them, because it's them either out. it's either yellow or blue that I'm looking for. Yes. So, uh... Ah, right now. And with that, that brings him up to 14. Okay, with a 14, then uh, you get to roll to do uh, to hit it out. Alright, and... Sakoro taps the bat down and gets into a batter's stance and um, uh, looks directly across and sees a dumbass guy arcing up and then speaks up. You really suck at this baseball thing, you know? Let me show you what the university's top hitter can do. Taps what? it down. And I'm going to activate one of Sokoro's gifts, which is Debate King. <laughs> it works like this. Every time Sokuro outright says he's better than someone and is correct, he gets a bonus 1d6 to a roll. <laughs> of course we don't get along. We're the same. <laughs> oh. And, uh, yeah. He prepares and uh, a pitches. Okay, it's a good thing he had that extra six. Holy hell. Yes. Okay, so tell me where you where you're sending it. All right. Well, I should also roll for yeah. No. Uh, so Damsky pitches and Sakoro uh, whacks the ball and he's going to hit it off in this direction in William's direction because William has a busted up hip right now. <laughs> Excellent. In that in uh, in that case, you're going to you're going to roll to uh, your your roll to do will be contested by two people. Uh, you roll very high. In this case, it'll go doink, Johnny Two Guns, and doink, hey, can theoretically jump up and grab it. But no, not quite enough. It it flies out and over past William. You are in, able to run to the first base. He run runs here. to the first base, stops over, and then just kind of waits and prepares to do a run. Yes, so in this instance, uh, William is going to pick up the ball, and building off of his roll to die here, he is now going to roll to do uh, oh, to cool. more or less interrupt you. He's he's going to chuck it in. So, in this instance, you roll to die versus this if you want to keep going. Or you could be like, nah, I'm, I'm chill here. Nah, he's going to chill. <laughs> he's going to chill? Okay. Mm -hmm. William picks up the ball, holds it for a sec, looks over at you, and then throws it back to the pitcher. It's William. He's got an impressive arm, actually. <laughs> Two guns. <laughs> Two guns. And here's the other thing. Because you made him roll once, he's now locked into a five red, meaning he's allowed to carry that stat forward. Oh. This is a game of strategy. Uh, it is a game of strategy. Breda, you notice something. Socorro stares directly across, and <laughs> despite his poor opinion of you, in a competition, you both are aligned and thus temporarily are allies, and he gives you a look. He needs you to go up next. Oh, okay. I know that look anywhere. <laughs> Face of a salary man, heart of a champion. Boom. <laughs> Time to lead by example. You step up, and Dumbbell gives you full attention. So, Breda, 
Looks like it's time for our Archon game to begin! The team captain's facing off once again. This is exactly what Sakura was hoping for. In this moment, uh -huh. he adjusts the brim of his glass. And Sakura immediately bolts and is going to try to steal second. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll to do in this... Uh... Oh, <laughs> boy! <laughs> Sakura immediately bolts and then... Uh, someone starts yelling and like dumbbells like, but what? I'm focusing on my, and then see Sakura running like, wait, wait, what are you? And then tosses the ball as Sakura slides over and hits second. And then <laughs> Yori, you catch it. But at this point, he already makes it. And then, well, we can't do that. And then he kind of stands oh, up. very much can. It's called stealing. Uh, he's like, maybe you should read a book about how baseball works. I think we have one in one of the, uh, in the general store. <laughs> As at the mention of stealing, someone peeks her head back around the corner. Huh? <laughs> what? Who are you accusing of? Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> back down. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I bet you'd be great at stealing, bases. <laughs> then, Beretta uh, flashes Sakura a thumbs up. <laughs> Dumbass feels a little, like, confused. It kind of pouts a little bit and turns around. Oh, I'm just gonna pitch. Actually, I think that totally drops. That totally dropped. Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> dumbass needs to go again. Oh, Dumbass isn't oh. feeling it as much. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna throw it. Oh, hold on a second. You, you feel a touch on the back of your arm. Why don't you trade pitching off to me? Oh. Okay, sure. <laughs> Flashes uh -oh. you a big, uh, a big, like, 100% serene smile, and then walks up, and, uh, like, they sort of test the ball. I'll admit. I this... expected you to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'll admit, this is the first time I'm trying something like this, so please, take it a little easy on me, okay? Smiles at you. I'll go about as easy as I did in that duel we had on the beach. <laughs> I believe it was in this exact spot. <laughs> the it seems spot of history my is it seems like history is doomed to repeat itself. Um hey, yeah. Do you want to move to a spot where we're less likely to hit you? She nods. <laughs> Scoots over in this direction. The old man starts throwing out catcher signs. <laughs> <laughs> Sakuro nods along. Perfect communication in play. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, they're going to roll to do. There we go. Beretta, first, roll to die to receive the pitch. Of course. Uh, you can push it over the 10. Yeah, I gotta relax. I gotta take a deep breath. You gotta take a, you gotta take a fucking deep breath. Okay, so the ball connects with the bat, and you feel like you barely squeak by. Iori's pitch is fucking hard. He's uh, good. You you feel your you feel your arms sort of shake for a second. Then you step forward and you swing. Give me a roll to do. Oh! <laughs> Beretta, in this case, a bunch of people are going to get a chance to respond to your roll. Uh, Iori, first of all, he's going to dive forward and rolling to die. Yep, he picks it up and immediately grabs the ball and whips it over to Ami. You're out immediately. Yeah, but does Sakuro get to get his base? Wait a second. I'm oh. also incorrect. That was a clash. You went yellow. Oh. He went yellow. Oh. He can blow it. So you rolled the three. He rolled the oh. one. There it is. What? Oh, oh! It's still it's higher so though. It's still higher. Beretta, you hit the ball and it thump thump rolls a few times and Yuri's like, oh, oh, and stumbles forward, kind of grabs it and oh. throws it over here. In that, with the presence of that one, Sakuro, go for it. <laughs> yeah, Sakuro manages this because of the ball tumbling. It just being not so smooth. Sakura's gonna take the opportunity to try to make the third base. Does he have to roll? Okay. Uh, yes. Give me a roll to do, and I will penalize because Ioria only got a one. He's gonna he's gonna get a penalty for this. All right. Uh, let's go then. It feels like uh, thing of, okay, yeah. Sakura was just waiting for the ball to get make contact at all and just immediately yeah. <laughs> fucking on it. Okay. Uh, that is your roll to do. Um, Ami is gonna pitch it over. Okay. That'll that'll do. Uh, and then your boy 
Your boy William's gonna roll to catch. You rolled a 24. The 24 has to beat this, and you'll be good. Wow, close. Oh, <laughs> close as hell. Uh, William catches the ball in Socorro. This is pretty impressive. These guys are pretty good. Uh, but not as good you enough. Not good enough. William sprints over and you slide into base, barely under the ball. Beretta, <laughs> Beretta kind of shrugs and, and she goes, <laughs> I wasn't intending to make it out of this alive anyway. <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> okay. Who's up next, Beretta? Um, let's go with Cool Guy. Nice. Okay. Baseball. <laughs> the pastime of champions, of which I am one. He reaches down, picks up the bat, tests it a few times. Um, Sir, you are, you're holding it the wrong way, the other side. Ah, I see! He flips it around in his hand, catches it deftly. Okay, here we go! Uh, Yori is going to roll to do. And then Gaius going to roll to respond. Oh, uh, that's still pretty good. Um, then he is similarly going to roll to do. Oh, he hits it pretty far. He's gonna send it over to these two. So you two get to respond with rolls to die, dumbass and hey. Oh boy, dumbass. Hey Jen. Let's see how you doing. Oh. oh. 12. 12. Uh, you dumbass, you're like, oh no. It's going too high, it's going too far. Gaius gets this big smile on his face as he starts to run. Oh, I hit it right on! And then you thump into something. Large, imposing. <laughs> oh. The specter of the shrines catches the ball behind you. <laughs> Ooh. Nice! <laughs> That's rad! I like how she her color changes, changes everyone's horns. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, let me drop swing. She she smiles and throws the ball back. Guy is having been uh, counted as out. Ah, mm. crap. Sorry, boss. It's all good. 100% stays on base for that one. Not yeah. gonna. <laughs> Guess we got fire Aurelia, I need you to bring Sakura home. Uh, <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, do my best. She walks up. And uh, Iori, Iori smiles again, preps himself. He's going to roll to die and do this fresh. He's going to go with this one. He, his, his gaze grows in intensity. And then he throws Whoa. a fucking fastball. Uh, she needs to beat a 20 with her roll to die. I don't think she can. Nope. Uh, it immediately flies back uh, past Whoa. hitting the fucking, hitting the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey catch. <laughs> Whoa. <Strike one. laughs> that's that's a hell of an arm okay she sort of like stretches a little bit or he just has the same playful smile and he preps himself again going for a different color this time and then he's going to throw another one okay gotta beat a wow. 15 with this iori apparently getting into the swing of this is like hmm Baseball is rather good. enjoyable. Uh, and then throws it overhand, and Sorelia, she goes for it. Okay, she's going to be able to do it. She manages to... You see the same thing that happened with you, Beretta? It impacts her arms, and you see the shock travel up both of them it's into her motion. body. Oh. And then she's going... Okay, that's high enough. She's going to hit it, and she sees... She sees that Socorro is her best chance right now, and she's just gonna send it straight down over first and is gonna fucking pray. Um, All right. Uh, and then she's gonna take off this direction, and Ami, it's going to be your go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that will not do. Oh, that will not do by one point. Oh. The ball splashes down in the water as Sorelia Sprints over and slides into first, barely making it. Ami picks up the ball and she's gonna throw it to the monkey. <laughs> Ami, this is gonna go. 
roll to do. Oh, oh it's bad! Monkey, it's it flies straight towards you and it just it never it never makes You know what? Do you want to roll for a monkey miracle? Roll, roll to die. <laughs> monkey roll miracle. to die for a monkey miracle. Monkey uh, roll to, <laughs> normally, this would be a roll to die, but in this instance, roll to do. Wild roll to do for monkey miracle. Yeah, roll to do wild for a monkey miracle. I, you ready for this? That's the most quotable yeah. thing we've seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in this world, there miracle. are no miracles. <laughs> Sakura, tell me how you make it in. <laughs> Sakura was already kind of standing ready for a run the moment the the ball was hit. So he runs straight across. They know they want to get him out because he's about to get a point. But he manages to slide in, taps the uh, the goalpost, and it kind of flips back up and kind of stands and move and adjusts the hat again as he's just like, well, it looks like that's as much as about a few amateurs with Golden Hearts gets him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's pretty cool. Uh... He goes over and sits by himself on the other bench. <laughs> <laughs> Iori winds up taking the ball back. Who's next? Uh, uh, who's next? Yeah, we can go with Cool. Ah, he kind of <laughs> steps up and goes over and picks up the bat. All right, I've never played baseball before, but I have a good idea after seeing a few rounds, so let's go. Why do you put the hats, then? <laughs> 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 I've always wanted to, you know? There's never been enough people. He uh, taps down. Yuri, All right, Yuri preps themselves. It's it's three outs and they're at two outs so far. Uh, Yuri preps themselves and focuses in, and is going to attempt a pitch. Okay, right. just beat a ten. Oof. All right, uh, we'll do that then. Um, he did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Kind of looks across, and then Beretta uh, wants you to roll the die. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, Bretta, uh, there's something not quite right. When that ball comes a coming, he arcs up, swings the bat, and whacks into it. And this man never played baseball in his life. He must be a liar. There's a powerful energy radiating <laughs> off of him as he rings the bat forward and knocks that ball straight into the air and then begins moving with an unnatural grace. Which direction are you sending it? Uh, he sends it straight down middle field. Okay, so Iori will clash with your 21. Interesting. Boom! <laughs> oh, man. This God man, damn. this man might be a liar. He might have never, uh, he might have played a lot of baseball, but similarly, you're starting to understand something. Iori's movements, they are certainly that of someone who has never played baseball once in his life. He stumbles backwards, he moves, but this, this isn't the gate of someone inexperienced at baseball alone. This is the gate of he leaps into the air, twisting, catching the ball out of midair, touching down. This, this is the power of a natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Yori, what a good job. He kind of goes up and goes past your shoulders. Damn, you, you've never played baseball either, huh? He says, <laughs> keeping up the story. Not even once. Uh, I was assigned to catch rocks that my instructor threw into a lake, and I'm starting to realize that this is most similar to that. Oh, well, it looks like you stole all our beginner luck, so good job. <laughs> he pats you on the shoulders, and then, uh, okay, we so. swap now, right? Yep, that's three outs. <laughs> oh man. Queen Demean once more looks up at the sky. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you notice that, like, in the midst of all of this, you get the feeling that someone is quite good at stealing and has moved her way around. And she's like, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> she walks over to Beretta. Uh, everyone, shuffle your positions. Beretta, position your troops. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need a good, oh, wait, yeah. strong first base. So Aunt Zizi's gonna go to first base. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> I <laughs> want uh, Sakura on, on third. Okay, Sakura on third. Yep, I want um, Queen on second. Okay. 
and I want Sorelia kind of over here in the outfield. Uh, whereabouts? Over uh, in between. Uh, oh first yeah, team. I see. Or yeah. yeah. And uh, Gaius over here. Whereabouts? Ah yes. Oh wait, we didn't. We don't have monkey. I forgot. Yeah, no monkey King for cool. your team. King Cool is our monkey. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm the monkey. Come on. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, King Cool's like, uh, you know that you know that you go out now. You don't have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> they they kind of <laughs> drop the hat, move over to the side. <laughs> and then uh, King, King Cool prepares himself. Him King cool. Yeah, he's been Whoa. promoted from Count Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then he's just like <laughs> watching you position everyone. Smiles, walks over, sits down on the bench. All right. And then I feel good about this. That's <laughs> it. correct. Yeah. I yeah, think okay. that's. I cool. think that's I'm it. Right. All right. Yeah, yeah. We got a good thing. So, dumbass stops first. Well, uh, Iori, what do you think we should do first? Hmm. <laughs> Are you asking for my opinion as a tactician or as a sportsman? Yes, both. Um, ideally, we should try to crush their spirits. So <laughs> <laughs> they they like run their hand up and down their chin. Um, I think we should send out potentially our hardest hitter first. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, if it's just hitting a ball, I think I could do that. Yes, uh, it would also be an important showing for our leader to establish first and foremost. The tone of timber of our entire round, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds important. I'm gonna <laughs> knock him dead. <laughs> Dumb runs up, uh, grabs the bat, and prepares. All right, Beretta, show me what you got. <laughs> Beretta smirks a bit, then looks at Count Cool and says, "You can see her mouth and give a hand signal. It's time to cheat." <laughs> <laughs> he gives you. The greatest uh, uh, catcher signal of all. The OK sign. <laughs> the got him hand. The, the got, got him hand. <laughs> got, got him. So I'll roll to die. Yes. All right, and dumbass will also roll to die. Uh, all right, red, let's do it. Fiery passion. <clears throat> yeah, we're having fun. OK. We're having a great time. So. In this instance, Beretta, you would roll to, uh, you would immediately roll to die to determine die. your color. Yeah, I, I uh, oh, oh yeah. wait, wait, oh, I thought I did. Yes. Okay, I will press it again. Oh, good. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Let's clash. Oh, <laughs> <let's do that. laughs> now you well, both, then. since you're both set up to clash, you roll to do versus each other. Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh wow! wow. Oh, that. No, it's just man. that's just an immediate strike. <laughs> yeah, we we clash off, but unfortunately, we're both kind of amateurs. <laughs> well, I won't speak for Beretta. Maybe Beretta too is also University Baseball. But... He is, but she is also the only player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's go again. Oh. Oh. And then Beretta. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Oh, I felt the knee bones. Dumbass, you're like, you're prepped. You're like, yeah, this is going to be a home run. And then Beretta, strike two. Oh, <laughs> a fucking you know, actually, heat mirage. You know yeah. what? I, I think I know what happens here. What's that? Beretta, you, that's a crit. So Beretta on a clash. So Beretta, you toss the ball. And Dumbass is like, yeah, I'll hit it. And over to the side. Iori, no, no, no. Something's not right about that toss. You've never played baseball in your life, but you notice something about that toss should not be hit as when dumbass goes in to try to hit this thing the angle the way the ball moved the ball just flies directly into the air and cool's just like dumbass like yeah and starts running for it but cool he's like Haha. he steps up reaches his hand up into the air and just catches the ball as it falls directly down in front of the catcher and then dumbass gets over here and turns around so did i get it <laughs> Nope, unfortunately, you are out. 
Beretta punches her glove, oh. you know, the you know the way. Yeah. Her, and yeah. then she spits uh, on the ground. <laughs> Cole tosses back as dumbass moves to the side and just kinda like sits facing the opposite direction. <laughs> okay, I suppose I'm going to make the call for who goes up next. Um, why not you? Give it a shot. Uh I quietly nod. Stand up and move over. <laughs> They prep themselves, picking up the bat. They stare across at you, Beretta, and just wait for a time. It's oh. uncomfortable. Silence reigns over the battlefield. A moment of calm amidst this tumultuous storm. You get What's the your name, kid? You and look up. <laughs> and they utter two words. Two words that strike fear deep inside your heart. CEO Beast. What? CEO Beast. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> All right, Beast. Let's put that name to the test. <laughs> you have to move. I can't catch. You have to step to the side of the batting spot. I apologize. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, C. Okay. <laughs> so they move to the side and prep. <laughs> Give me a roll to do, Beretta. Oh, to do or die? Uh, first, you can drop your swing if you want to try to select a new swing, or you can keep pitching with your red six. I'll keep pitching with red six. Okay. Uh, Give me a roll to do. Okay. Just got to roll pretty high for this. Let me hit the roll to die. Damn, Beretta's killing it. Beretta yeah. sure is killing a it. A good pitcher, oh. not a good batter. That'll be high enough, actually. Like, uh, CO Beast manages to connect up with the ball. It's, you can, once again, you can see her sort of struggling with it, and then she's going to roll to do. Oh. Beretta oh. clash with that. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, she she winds up just bunting it and then clash so she takes off and she's sprinting and god she moves fast as hell the ball's like over here and you wind up running for it as uh by the time she makes it around to the second base where she just stops touches down straightens herself up hmm. and it doesn't seem like she's going any further this time <laughs> not bad <laughs> Iori's just like, hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah. Little man. Nods. Can I leave the future of our team in your hands? Cold dead stare. <laughs> I would only count on you in a moment like this. <laughs> Little man <laughs> walks up to the base. <laughs> As he walks up. He remembers something and he goes and rushes back to Beretta's house and comes back wielding Shinra Zizen's sword. <laughs> hey! Hey! What the hell? It's like a club. Beretta is not paying attention to this complete affront and disrespect of Shinra's uh, sword because she knew Whoa. this day would come. Little, man, little man's a lefty. Oh, he's a lefty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Beretta looks at little man in the eyes. She's like, I'm sorry for what I must do. You feel a connection. He's sorry for what he's about to do. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll to do, Beretta. <laughs> Damn. Little man, you Ooh. must beat A10 with your roll to die. Ook. Oh, you barely do it! <laughs> <laughs> you clear it and now lock something in and give me a roll to do. Well, I mean, I have to do hands. You have to do hands. It's <laughs> my hand stat. Right. Give me, give me a roll to do. Well, you could have batted with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an eleven! Oh boy, where are you sending it, little man? I'm bunting. You're bunting, so ah. you're you're sending it towards like which direction? Like yes. right, so, uh, like uh, right straight. in front of me. Right so here. Beretta's got a so Beretta's got a roll roll to die versus and little man. You Beretta, yeah, he he bunts, 
you manage to get it while he's like 50% of the way to the next base. Uh, what's your action? Sokoro uh, uh, kind of whistles at you. We gotta get the fast one out. It's the yeah. message that seems to be sent. Yes. Is you didn't need, yeah, you didn't even need to explain it because immediately as she pivots and turns and throws it to Sokoro. Okay, here we go. In this case, give me another roll to do versus CEO Beast's roll to do. Who will beat, will, who will win? The ball or the, <laughs> the CEO? The rage of Beast. <laughs> oh, oh, the CEO! <laughs> oh. By another Split instant, the CEO beast touches down on the base. Little man, having reached his destination as well. You get, you see it, Beretta. That was just, it's been a hair's breadth both, both times. The CEO remaining just an inch ahead of you. All according to plan. respect for the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Little man's still carrying the sword, by the way. <laughs> yeah, what's happening over here with Little Man and the sword and Zizen? <laughs> Zizen stares down with like a face of contempt. Pathetic. <laughs> she considers that at herself as well for letting this happen. <laughs> and little man. Mm -hmm. uh, let me let me see let me see what what's she gonna hang on hang on what, what the hell are you gonna do that Zizen? Ah uh, yes. Yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, she kind of looks down and is just like, I want my sword back. <laughs> He looks at Please. you. He holds on to the sword for now. <laughs> she stares, daggers. If I get you out, I'm getting my sword back. <laughs> Run fast, little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so much hate. Yuri. Yuri looks over to dumbass. Leader, I believe it's time to enact our, um, winning strategy. Mm. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah! Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you doing okay over there? We're doing great once we win! Okay, uh, Yori moves over. And then pats Ami on the head. <laughs> huh? You're up? <laughs> uh, sure. Not sure why you want me exactly but yeah let's do this moves out front Yori sits down and simply watches another <laughs> lefty oh, Ami's lefty yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ami picks up the bat she's she's small she preps herself she gets ready with it and uh yeah Bretta give me a uh give me a roll to do interesting can I roll to try and get an inkling of what this strategy is? <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. Give me a roll to do to determine strategy. Hmm. Okay, in this case, you get the feeling that Iori has some sort of trick up. Wait, yeah, you look around. Iori knows something about Ami that you don't in this case. And looking around, yes, if Ami hits a home run right now, <laughs> she can send home enough people to put his team in the lead. Just barely. You get the feeling he was waiting for something like this. What was he talking about before? Crushing the spirits of the enemy? Ami is just <laughs> like, looks at you. <laughs> hmm. Seems as though Yuri knows something I don't. I guess I'm going to have to out-strategize the strategist. <laughs> and then Beretta's going to wind up. <laughs> like she's going to throw the strongest pitch of all time and just hum it at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Uh, oh boy. So yes, this you you throw it at the ground and uh Ami just like hup, goes for it and like kind of misses swings overhand. Like, ah, oh, oh boy. Um hmm. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> 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 you got you got that one passed nice and easy. That roll was miserable. That's yeah, that's you you throw it in such a way that it's still technically a valid toss. That is a strike on Ami. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to. I'm gonna yeah. do the same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> you chuck it again. Oh. <laughs> give me a give me a roll to do. 
Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, you you throw it to Ami, and this is one of the rare instances in which she manages to, with her roll to die, exceed the pitcher's roll to do. The ball hits the center of her bat, and she just reels back with a fucking demonic smile lighting her face up. Oh yeah, wouldn't that clash? Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's a good yeah, point. Bretta, give me a roll. Oh, all right, yeah, Ami. You roll. Okay. Oh! So, in this instance, something special happens. Yori's eye flashes. Oh. It's time for Yori's brilliant strategy. <laughs> uh, as, as the ball hits Ami's bat, there is a crack and an explosion. It flies outwards and straight into the ocean, plunking down. Yori just smiles at you as everyone runs around the outside. Woolman carries the sword above his head, turning <laughs> around, blowing raspberries. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the other looks team at you disapprovingly, Beretta. <laughs> the other he team puts all the blame on you. The lead. <laughs> Everyone plops down, and then Socorro sits there, hands folded. He's hoping nobody catches on. That's right. Functionally speaking, those were all the heavy hitters from their team. The only people remaining are the old man with the bad hip and the sheep who is terrified to go up to bat. <laughs> if everything pans out exactly as planned, the enemy team will be completely demoralized. I want an update from everyone on the enemy team now. Zizen, how you feeling? Zizen wants her fucking sword bag. That's all she cares about. <laughs> Sorelli is angry. How's Queen Demean feeling? Queen Demean, once again, is just staring up at the clouds like, man, I'd really want to play a game today. <laughs> <laughs> Gaius is like, hell yeah, nice job, Socorro, how you feeling? Socorro is annoyed. <laughs> Beretta, how are you doing? He is also annoyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Socorro and Beretta, the it's, it's probably, on the It's team. probably the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. probably is. <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> Uh, looking around, you feel, Beretta, you feel something. This team that you put together. That's right. You managed to go around and pick out all of the competitive people. <laughs> 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 looking at the enemy team, admittedly, sure, Dumbbell is kind of a competitive person, but these two have an almost serene-like grace to them. These two just seem to be here for fun, and these two are high powered business people <laughs> <laughs> that's right you've managed to arrange the perfect team for revenge beretta you gain your team-wide spirit bonus the spirit <laughs> of getting even <laughs> <laughs> now for the remainder of this while you equip red everyone will gain a 1d6 bonus good <laughs> everybody's out for fucking blood hatred <laughs> Uh, Iori, like, looks over. I believe that strategy should have worked, um... Why do they s look so mad now? Hey, looks over, uh... I can actually sense a lot of energy coming from them. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> he walks up with the baseball bat! <laughs> Moves back behind! Beretta. You can feel it. The rage building within you. Give me that roll to- Now when you do a roll to do, add a 1d6 to it. Okay. Um, is there a good There's way? roll to do complex now to add ah. a 1d6. Yes. For when you, for when you gain additional powers. Mm -hmm. Roll to do C. Um, 1d6. Yes. Pass a baseball. Oh, oh, oh hatred. Crap. Uh, hey, Jim. Okay. She actually winds up rolling pretty good, but I am gonna lock in her. That's a zero. Okay, strike one. It flies past and impacts <laughs> impacts the glove. Just like oh. <laughs> it's just silence on the other on the outfield. It's just everybody's just intensely staring at this poor goat. <laughs> Meanwhile, hey, hey, on hey. your field, Hage is like, uh, counts like, wow, they love to kill you. I think <laughs> <laughs> that that was a pretty good pitch. 
As soon as she's done talking, she throws it again. <laughs> this one will be it's a clash. Bad. Oh, no! <laughs> Hey, you just, you, you throw the ball and Hey just quietly hits it and Bretta, you just snap it out of the air like it's nothing immediately getting her out. <laughs> oh. She spits and does the cleat kick thing. <laughs> hey, you just walks back over and sits down next to Iori and Iori's like, I may have miscalculated stri slightly with my strategy. <laughs> Batter uh, up! Well, I suppose I can be the one to pick up the pieces here. Uh, he yeah. wants over and continues to accidentally take Agent's horn. <laughs> when he gets there. William's already standing there, huh? Don't worry, leave this to me. He, uh, he... He already blinks a few times. <sighs> Leader, what call should we make in this case? And dumbass, sitting there, Shaking a little bit, stands up, turns around, places foot up, crying a little bit. <laughs> I want you to take them all down, Yuri. Okay, I guess it's me then. William, William looks over. No, trust me, uh, you don't want to go over there while while they're all like that. He points at them with the JoJo menacing aura out there. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll be fine. I've trained I've trained extensively to deal with all sorts of negative emotions. Okay, it's your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, all that enlightenment stuff, yes? Yes, he braces the bat, gets ready. Uh, give me a roll to do, Beretta. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we, here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dang, Iori is fucking on it. Yeah, dude. yeah. Really good. Oh. Iori manages to catch it perfectly. Uh, like it hits, it hits the fucking bat, and even with all of your rage, Iori manages to keep up with you. Uh, Which way smiling is he pr pr pretty widely as he does. He's going to send it in this direction towards Socorro and uh, Gaius. So both of you get to roll to do, uh, roll to die versus a twenty-three. Uh, and oh. I'm still red, so they get their D6, right? Oh, they get a they D6. Get they get a D6 on a roll to do in this. Oh, or if do. they've got red locked in, they get a bonus D6, yes. Uh, Gaia uh, says... Well, uh, Sakura's yeah. going to lock in red. He goes to eight. <laughs> and uh, let me roll 1D6 here. That's oh. 20. Is that a, is that a 23? A, that is a 23. You, then... it, it flies out and over. And he can't, in this instance, he wasn't locked into red preemptively. So I'm going to say... You catch it and you can throw it, but this isn't an immediate out because you've got to be like, you got to go into a roll with that red locked in. Oh, you got to go oh, in hit, with the red? The it hits the ground, you grab it, and now you're locked in red and you're feeling the spirit of revenge. So, <laughs> okay. Gaius oh, we got to spread gonna... the revenge around. Gaius is going to keep his blue. Now, give me a roll to do versus Iori right. Socorro. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh, in this instance, got to add uh, that one six. Hang on. Roll. Roll to die. Oh, oh, you shit. beat it by one! Oh. Tell me how the fastball flies across. So, um, it's with this... Also, yeah, it's flavored. This was powered entirely by revenge. Yeah. Uh, Socorro immediately catches the ball and arcs up, and he looks, and any sort of compassion or otherwise he might feel for Iori isn't strong enough to, to outmatch the amount of spike he feels for being shoved on a team of amateurs and having his status as the baseball champion put on the line. So he tosses it forward and Zizen sees the ball coming and manages to snag it out of the air before Iori fits there. It's literally by a hair. By a hair! And Iori sort of like slides to a rest. Meanwhile, over here, this one. See? Told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Iori stands up. Well, I admit defeat in this case. I believe that's three outs then. That is three yes. outs. We rotate. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Dumbbell. Yeah, oh, yeah. Feeling better? Feeling motivated now? I'm, I'm feeling motivated. Okay, that's good. Uh, where are we going to position ourselves around the field this time? Mm. Well, you're a pretty good strategist, so you should probably pick those locations, but I do think... Uh, kind of looks across at everyone assembled and stuff like that, and it's just like, hmm, well, uh, Beast moves pretty fast, but they should stay in probably Brett for Outfield. Uh, and, uh, I think 
you know, I think uh, he, he got Shellux so, or we should probably put William in the the pit because can't be running much with the hip. <laughs> A and wise means, tactical decision. And that means there's only one person who's best for pitching. Turning over. It's a little man. (laughs) (laughs) What a wise decision from our magnanimous leader. Of course, little man, it's all on you. (laughs) It's time for a monkey miracle. (laughs) Get ready for some monkey miracles. Ah, where do I go then? (laughs) Uh, um, uh, where do you think you'd be best? Hmm. Moves over to like hereish. <laughs> See, Opie's moves over here, uh, and then he's gonna move over to second yeah. base. <laughs> Count Cool tosses the thing down and goes and sits over at the side. Uh, Beretta, someone walks up to your side. Hey, Cap. Yeah. Would you mind if I go first, please? <laughs> 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 Fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm just, I'm just absolutely ready to play a game. <laughs> I just, you oh, are cert- so ready. <laughs> okay. So in this instance, uh, by the way, uh, in terms of number of remaining innings, obviously this being st- the most the most illegal street rules, this will be the round to determine it. <laughs> of course. I see. So it's you, one more rotation, and then it's one more rotation. Obviously, it's whoever is winning at the end of this. And if you're you're in a draw, you continue on, obviously, mm-hmm. um, or you swap to an alternative game, which is like a knife fight or something. <laughs> <laughs> which is how we were supposed to start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Oh boy. So, oh boy, you ready, monkey? <laughs> no, he's a monkey. <laughs> you see. In the human world, uh, and in the monkey world, <laughs> little man would have all nines, but this is using human stats with human rules, so he has all plus zeros. <laughs> in the human world, I am the monkey. <laughs> yeah. So I rolled the die. Roll to die first to determine what color you're going to oh, use, fuck. exactly. Now, normally I'd pick hands, but yeah. screaming for my screaming pitches... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, hey, Brenna, Roll to die really quick. <laughs> You're okay. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, in this case, you get a quick assessment of the situation. That's a normal ass monkey. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have any bonuses to anything. But he doesn't even talk. You look back over this way. And you see a glint behind this one's eyes. (laughs) And you recognize something. You recognize something from your time in Indigo. The face of someone who has deep schemes. (laughs) (laughs) That plan earlier. That was like it was some sort of secret action. action. (laughs) Oh. Uh, Yes. So, uh, yeah, you get that for free for rolling very high. (laughs) Monkey, give me a roll to do. (laughs) Let's fucking... Go to determine. Okay, so yeah, you gotta beat a ten, Queen Demean. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> it's supposed to be a roll to die. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. no, uh, also drop first. Oh, I did. I dropped and then re selected. Oh, yeah, yeah. I rolled the. Di- I, uh, oh, you rolled before? Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. That's a legit 20 yeah. then. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, I rolled before. That's why I was like, okay, hey, okay. What? Where the fuck's it going? Uh, wow, that's... Demean's like, that home run basically fucked over... God, I'm so... I wanted to play so bad! Demean just (laughs) aims for the ocean as hard as possible to just try to just get it, like, home run and adjacent at least. So probably past CEO Beast. Let's let's see, CEO Beast. You send it fucking flying, and not even the CEO Beast can keep up with you. Uh, she darts out into the water, and yeah, it goes, it goes, it goes! Queen Demean, that's a home run. Right, it ties Queen up. Demean takes off the hat, tosses it in the air, and runs with the exact same <laughs> satisfied expression as she just laughs her way all the way to the end. <laughs> oh! I love this game!
game! He <laughs> <laughs> goes, collects their hat, and then moves off to the side and sits very satisfied. <laughs> You're up, Captain! I'm a... You should probably adjust your hat. No. Just <laughs> cooler. <laughs> Old man looks at you. I'm not sorry about what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> Ikuk. <laughs> Ikuk is right. <laughs> Roll to do. Oh, fuck. Hey, Brad, a beat a five. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Uh, you have to you have to drop roll to die also so let's oh. doink drop roll to die and beat a five okay roll to die damn it no you beat a five okay barely now, made it now give me a uh give me a roll to do with whatever you choose to lock in okay oh, a six. Or Plus your one d six, yes. Um, let me just do that with the thingy. I'm not on the protagonist team. <laughs> Twenty one. Okay, where is it going? Uh, it is going right at yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, in this case, uh, uh, little man can roll for fun. Uh, oh, yeah. You could you can roll to die to try to catch the ball, and Iori will similarly try to roll to die to catch the ball. Yeah, I have to drop my... Twenty one. Drop or just do it? Uh, you could just do it. Yeah. Ugh. No! <laughs> okay. I'm a uh, short little monkey. It flies over. Beretta, you make it to first base. Good. Are you going to press onwards? Um, yes. <laughs> okay. In this case, you're going to be rolling versus Iori. Uh, in this case, it would be you roll to do. Use your revenge stat versus, or wait, no, this is a roll to die, and you do get your revenge bonus on that, uh, on okay. this. Okay, because I am locked in. Yeah, speed of 14. Roll to die complex? Yes, roll to die complex for your extra 1d6. Who sets a monkey to pitch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> a real genius. <laughs> oh, Beretta, oh. you easily make it to the base. He just uh, catches the ball and, like, reaches down and is, like, tries to, like, push it against you even though you're on base. <laughs> Count Cole turns over to Gaius and nods his head. Do you see that, guys? You're truly worthy of this island. Mm. She's just <laughs> running and going. You see, she's got, she got the second. That's... That's the sign of someone who is truly, truly strong. Willing uh, to take advantage when it appears. I guess, if that's your main qualification, man. <laughs> uh, Beretta, who goes next? Um, Socorro. <laughs> All right. Socorro steps up and moves on up and grabs the bat and prepares. <laughs> Gonna make a monkey out of him. <laughs> she stares directly at directly at little man <laughs> okay so yeah Sakura, you managed to hit the ball tell me what you're locking in and then roll them dice alright so he's locking in red yes. and we're gonna roll complicated he's still really tilted he's still really tilted is he gonna insist that he's better than people with this uh he's going to uh <laughs> tap the bat and then he points the bat over to Yori you're very smart, Iori. But at the end of the day, you can't be a baseball pro. <laughs> and he prepares to swing. Okay. Oh boy, who are you sending it towards? Uh, well, I feel like after he said that, he has to send it at Iori. Okay. Here we go. Little man <laughs> trying to catch the ball. <laughs> Little man, roll to die. Eek. 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 Oh. <laughs> Iori takes a step backwards, and as the ball flies out and over, Iori just runs back, runs up the tree, hops off, grabs the ball, touches down without it touching the ground, and then whips it back to little man. Sakuro, that's an out. That's an out. <laughs> he just moves <laughs> off to the side, and uh, uh, 
immediately, as as per rules of his ability, if he immediately eats shit and fails, he takes damage. So he takes a point of damage from that. I just kind of adjusts his hat and looks off. Sakoro, you didn't tell me that you that you were a pro. I thought you only played in the club. Oh. He reaches up and grabs the hat and like crunches it and tosses it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Bretta, are you gonna try to steal a base? No. <laughs> That's right. Yuri throws it back to the monkey. <laughs> there's too much. There's too much on the line. It's not an advantageous position. <laughs> I can't let pettiness take over strategy. Not yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. This is. You look to Yuri. That's right. Your revenge, your blood's boiling, but this is a battle of strategists right now. <laughs> <laughs> the strategy of putting a monkey on the picture. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I imagine the manga close-up of everyone's face, Bretta's face shadowed yeah. by the hat, just like, that's right. I can't, my revenge is currently fueling me, but at the same time, I can't let it get the better of me. Yori, at the same time. Their revenge is blinding them to the greater strategy at large. They're all playing into the palm of my hand. Bretta, who's up next? Well, let's go with ZZ. Oh. <laughs> no. uh, Zizen stands up. Well, I guess it's time. Zizen moves Knock on. Knock him up. dead! Zizen grabs her hat and just kind of like adjusts it on her hat. And then, let's see. Ah, I see it's time. Roll to do. Um, Are you fucking kidding me? No. Um, <laughs> Zizen looks across and she sees the monkey and she sees Beretta and she realizes that in order to win, they must put all out. Zizen never has been really going all out, but she realizes in this moment that truly the most important thing that she could do right now is prove to her technical niece in this situation that she is, in fact, the coolest person on this island. And so, with that in mind, she channels her cursed blood in order to... <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> An entire array of interesting, intricate tattoos start to form around. Her eye glows an intricate red that seems to beam out from her head, and then she uh, she rolls. And oh, <laughs> and add an rolled. additional 1d6 for that. Yes. <laughs> for Don't a grand worry. total of 32. Hey, uh, little man, mind rolling time? Time for a monkey miracle. <laughs> <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zizen, where's it going? Um... Oh gosh, Zizen! <laughs> I, I, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, Zizen knocks it like straight up in the air, which would just be like a like a landing here situation. But Zizen knocks it so high into the air that she intends for it to take a fucking long time coming down. <laughs> it has enough time to go all the way around the world. Yes, uh, William's going to charge forward. He's the only one that has a chance no, here. No, I don't worry. I got this. What? Monkey mirror. Throw me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, William. Monkey ball special. <laughs> William ball special. picks up little man and is going to throw him. If this succeeds, you will gain an entire... Yes, yes, work. He picks you up and throws you in the air. <laughs> Monkey, you fly high, high up. Add a 1d6 to your roll. The chance of this succeeding is so fucking yeah. low. <laughs> <laughs> we need like a 20 and like so a, a roll to You need a 20 God. and a 6 and then it'll even. <laughs> roll to do and then add a d6. Uh, right. to do. You will need to re literally roll a 20 and a 6. <laughs> so you're saying... It'll be, There's it'll, a be a monkey miracle. it'll be a monkey miracle. It'll be a monkey miracle. No! Not a monkey miracle. William, William picks you up and he's like, Okay, little man, it's time for a monkey miracle. <laughs> he, he swings you around bodily and throws you up into the air, screeching. You just, you, you fly past the ball and just, just, just over the house. <laughs> <laughs> you go flying into the trees. He's gone home. Beretta. 
Yes. With that, we can steal more base. <laughs> yes, let's go home. <laughs> Everyone just watches that happen. William's like, Godspeed, little man. <laughs> <laughs> You guys run and you steal home. And with that, you take the lead, a substantial lead, and your fervor for revenge dies down. Yep, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time to fix my hat. You managed to take it back. That's right. All you have to do is keep this lead. It'll be that simple, right? Who goes next, brother? (laughs) Aunt Zizi looks pretty cool just then. (laughs) Thanks. She adjusts your hat a little bit. And then she kind of just like, well then, who's going to go next? We have this in the bag. Now all we got to do is just secure a bit more of a running victory, you know? Yeah, Sorelia, steal more. <laughs> uh, 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 don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> steal their hearts and give it to the poor. Okay. <laughs> I'll give that a shot. Uh, she moves goes up. and sits next to you, Bretta, and then slowly the weird, awful, cursed shit resides. <laughs> She's not even that bothered by it. <laughs> uh, who's gonna pitch? <laughs> Sir Elias says, looking around. Hey, you want to give it a shot? Uh, sure, okay. <laughs> she walks up. <laughs> she walks up and he already winds up taking the base. Uh, hey, hey, picks up the ball and just gets ready to pitch. Here we go. It's gonna red. be really strong. Doing <laughs> uh, the pitch in the monkey. The yeah. pitch flies uh, straight forward, and Sorelia is just like, oh, yes, okay, this'll be easy. And she's going to. Suddenly, the attitude and the aura shift around her for a moment and she's going to uh to go for a red and then a roll to do yeah that's about right <laughs> she she reels back and off of Hayes' incredibly easy pitch you see her eyes light up and beretta you see that real smile just uh. fade out for a moment as the ball is obliterated and flies off into the distance and sorelia forgetting herself sprints around in an instant, cackling the entire time. <laughs> that seems to be a gimmick with the pirates. <laughs> <laughs> pirates are good at baseball. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Hey, that was a really good pitch. <laughs> the smile comes back. Hey, is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> she walks over and sits down. <laughs> the whole run bench. Yeah. Hey, just looks over to this bench like, oh. <laughs> Uh, Good job, uh, Iret. <laughs> uh, she looks over. Oh, thanks, um, Queen. Do you have any? I, I kind of like your hat. Can I have one of yours? Ah, oh, I only got the one. Hey, I'll you tell sure? you what. Maybe uh, you know what I'll do? I'll grab you another one later. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds nice, actually. By the excellent. way, the way you hit the ball, really impressive. Oh, you did excellent as well. <laughs> I guess that's all we could expect. I mean. After all, you seem quite confident of this. <laughs> yes, and it seems like you've seen quite a few things as well. They just, this goes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's like, um, I think you need to send someone forward so that I can pitch to them. Ah, uh, yes. Who hasn't gone yet? Uh, Count Cool and uh, Gaius? Yeah. Yes. Uh, why don't you go, Cool? No, oh, why don't you go, Gaius? Oh, sure, why not? Walks forward, preps himself, skip a drop. Hey, Jim, here comes the pitch. 15, okay, he has to actually beat a number. He beats that number, and he gets ready, locks in his blue, and then whack, he sends it flying over towards, um, uh, he knows the weak link when he can see it, and he sees uh-huh. Hey, Jin, and like, focusing in on her, he sees the tears welling in her eyes, he's like, I could bunt it and definitely take some bases, but... And then he puts in more power and sends it flying back to Iori. (laughs) Uh, where is it? Iori. And who easily catches it? Ah. Sorry about that, guys. He walks back. The agent's like, I did it! 
<laughs> Flops down. I feel a little be bit better. I was starting to feel bad for Heijin. <laughs> oh, really? I guess it's my turn. Catches it. Yuri throws it back to Heijin. <laughs> hey, picks up the ball. And she's going to exhale. And now a little more determined. She's going to just gonna try to just gonna try to throw another cool. one. Picks up the bat. Puts it on his shoulder. And then raises up a finger. I'm coming for your life. He points that <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> and he fucking blows it! Strike one! Oh, wait, he, no, he's like, that's, no. a, that's abysmally bad. I think the bat pulverizes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, pulverizes the bat like, oh! Um, do we keep playing? Where'd you get this bat? <laughs> I, I, I don't. Oh, look who's been batting! He points at everyone, points at Zizen and everyone like that. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get you another one. The bat explodes and William hands you another one. Uh, okay, okay, he taps it down. Agent gets ready. And throws B to five with your roll to die. Oh wow, he almost failed again. He, he almost did it, it again! <laughs> oh my god. Count so, cool, uh, you lock it in. Oh, you know, how cool would have read this time. Yeah, that's chill. Uh, he is going to roll the two, and that'll be... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you oh. pick up another bat, and you're oh. like, oh, who's been hitting with these things, haha? <laughs> uh, William hands you a brand new bat, and you slam it, and the bat explodes <laughs> again, and William's like, I'm gonna be real with you. Holding the ball that you just like hit, popped up, he caught it. I don't think you should bat anymore. We have one bat left. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of turns. I think you should give me another bat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're out. I caught the ball. I don't no, think you should bat no, again. What, what, I, no, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the cool thing to do would be? What? To take a seat. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. You're out, you're in the outfield now. Your turn's over. What? It's true. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, oh, he throws Count Cool the the mask. No, he he takes the mask. He's like, I'm not I'm not sitting in the thing. I'm done. I'm going to stand out here where I can catch things. <laughs> William moves out, and everyone shifts. Okay. You've got a lead now. You've got a lead of two points now. You gotta hold on to that, Beretta. Uh, Agent just sees you come up and gives you this big, warm smile. Um, good work out there. The the blood is no longer in her eyes, and she's like, "You did really good out there. I'm I'm very proud of you." Thank you so much. She smiles and totters off this way. <laughs> I'm going to need that kindness. <laughs> Yori moves fast, still smiling at you. Those three secret actions are deeply worrying. I'm still there. <laughs> All right, who's gonna, who's gonna go in infield now? Um, who's gonna be our catcher? Let's do uh, Gaius at shortstop. <laughs> Okay. Damn. We'll That's do Sorelia on first. We'll do. Who's on second? You, um. Cut out. The Shinra Zizen's already positioned again. herself. Yep, Zizen can stay there. And. Who am I missing? Count Cool? Yeah! Catching? Catching again. All right. <laughs> walking up in. You're missing Socorro and Queen Demean over in the yeah. lower left. Oh, okay. Let's do. Uh, let's do Queen on third. And Socorro over here. Oh. Where's Socorro? Oh, I'll, oh, I'll move him. All right. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there we go. There's your fucking lineup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, now most importantly, it is your turn to lead. This will be the gap between victory and defeat. And as a leader, All right. 
your job to drive us there. So let's go, gang. Uh, walking up, of course. Tom turns fast. over. Now, that means it's time for us to do this again, huh? Yeah, you're gonna run away this time. I ain't running. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. Uh, roll to dive and a roll to do, Beretta. Oh, fan. You're having fun. You're having fun. Oh. Oh shit, that's a good hit. Um, so, uh, where are you sending it? Oh, so. Uh, are we clashing? No, not in this instance because okay. Dumbbell went in with no color equipped. I see. She would be clashing uh, with any of the outfielders, which would is where the stratagem arrives. Uh, Dumbass is gonna try to hit it. Uh, <laughs> Dumbass is gonna hit it at first. Yes. Because that's only appropriate. Yes. And then <laughs> try to beat the the ball to first. I see. Okay, so in this case, it would be Gaius uh, and uh, Surly. I need to roll it, so they're gonna go one, and Gaius does not. Beating that 21 is going to be pretty freaking hard. Sorelia does not. She winds up sort of like scampering back this way, sets this. She picks up the ball and then runs it over. There is an instant, dumbass, do you press on? Hmm. It's the job of a leader to press on. Beretta Pest pressed on, so dumbass yeah. similarly has to press on. <laughs> okay, so you're going to race Sorelia's toss over to Shinra Zizen. Uh, Beat this yeah. with a roll to die. I no! Think, the yes. ball streaks past you in an instant and Zizen catches it. This is intense. Dumb, <laughs> Dumb feels the sadness fall over at being once more defeated, but instead of crying this time, walks back over and then uh, points on over to uh, CEO Beast. You're up! <laughs> CEO Beast kind of nods. Shifts. My old rival. Moves over. Oh. She tilts her head looking at you. Uh, she's going to drop. Give me a roll to do. Okay. Uh, she's going to be 10. Oh, she does. Uh, not, <laughs> not by much, but she does. Barely made it. Uh, she's going to... She's going to do... Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, and then she is going to roll to do. And is going to send it... You know what? Almost as if to directly, like, contradict what what her leader just did. She's going to send it in this direction past these two. Or attempt to. We're going to see. And she makes it by one point ba past both. I'm noticing a trend. <laughs> yes! <laughs> she makes it over to here, and then she's going to demonstrate her abilities as a CEO by staying in place and not pushing it. That's right, <laughs> in order to get ahead in the business world. One must not overextend themselves. She knows this more than anyone. <laughs> Sorelia catches the ball. Oh, you're not going for it then, huh? Not today, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, throws it over to Beretta again. Let's rip them apart. <laughs> we just need to make it past our heavy hitters. <laughs> Uh, Iori looks over to Dumbass. Okay, who's next? Okay. Next up, we've got CEO Beast there. <laughs> so, let's... You go up, and then after that, we'll hit him with Ami again. Okay. I like this. Uh, they sort of wander over, get ready, and then N they're gonna think about this and actually swap to the other side. Oh, don't break the bat, by the way. It's pretty, pretty <laughs> flimsy. <Last one. laughs> he, uh, he, like, tests its weight. It might work a little better this way. Okay, Beretta, give me your best. Uh-oh. He's doing the right. of tennis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. <laughs> oh, That's maybe not. Right. Uh, so, in this case, he'd still beat it. It's just not a very good roll. Mm. Doing 11. So... You you notice the same pressure that he was applying to you earlier. You are now applying to him, Beretta. Uh, you watch as the ball hits the bat and he struggles with it and uh, just barely manages to force force it back. And uh, he's going to give it a roll to do. Uh, 21. He's going to send it over to... Uh, he's going to send it over to these two down here. Ooh. All right. Yeah. First off. Uh, I don't think Queen Demean actually can succeed, so... Yeah, sending it primarily at Socorro. All right, Socorro, 
uh, sees this coming and uh, is... Okay, let's see. Um, so, I have something I think would be clear to, to specialize. After that win, everyone in the team's like, oh, this is great. Yeah, we're feeling better about that. Yeah. That realization never dawned for Socorro. No! <laughs> Socorro is still incredibly You can retain your off. spirit of revenge! Yes. And uh, he's not in a swing now, yeah, but we'll he will be. Beretta, there's an energy emanating from behind. An energy you felt before. Something that this lawyer knows how to channel himself. Whoa, <laughs> he Socorro, stands down. up, reaches forward, and runs to the tree and does a similar leaping action that Iori did. And... <laughs> He's, yeah. He yeah. stands tall. Sending a swing to his six. Money. <laughs> Wait, that happens before. That locks him in before the roll is made. He gets the revenge bonus as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> is he rolling to die here. Oh, roll to die, complex. You know, you know this aura. Oh, oh, and he quickly <laughs> beats it with the stand tall. He leaps and grabs it, hitting the ground, catching it in the air to an immediate out. I and can't then he believe what just stands happened. up, breathes out, wipes the sand off his jacket as he looks across, motivated. <laughs> that that aura, it's unmistakable. Huh. So he must have learned from her as well. <laughs> he mentioned he'd gone to the university. He must have been a member of the dodgeball team. <laughs> oh, oh, he stands up and then tosses the ball. Oh, but that's not all. Because immediately he gets up and he notices a CO Beast going for it. CO Beast is not. CO Beast is chilled. <laughs> he looks with like like fury in his eyes and it's like, I see kind of annoyed that CO Beast, Beast didn't go for it. So he could get two outs <laughs> and toss back to Beretta. <laughs> CO Beast just watches with cold, empty eyes. He's scary. Uh, <laughs> he stands up, moves back, and prepares for the next outing. Yeah, you can feel it. The building pressure. This is it. This Too will out. be the play that decides the game. Iori whispers something and then claps his hands together. Okay, very well. We'll continue on with that plan. I have the utmost faith in this one. Hey, you shift slightly. Are you sure you want me to be the core of all of this? Yes, of course. It'll only succeed if you are the one out there. You know why, of course. Yeah, I, I guess I know why. Uh, okay, I'll try to, I'll try to turn your faith around. Um, <laughs> she takes a few steps forward, picks up the bat, and moves over. And Iori just smiles. She moves up. She moves up to the plate and very shakingly holds the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at you. <laughs> so for a moment, seeing that display, that standing tall from, from Sakura over there, it actually almost got Beretta's blood boiling again. She was starting to get kind of fired up. <laughs> but then when Hague comes up to bat, she's kind of like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she drops her swig. <laughs> <laughs> give, me a, give me a roll to die, then a roll to do, Beretta. Because... For some reason, when she sees this awkward, tall person who's uh, kind of strangely shambling about, it has a soft spot in her heart. <laughs> <laughs> a moment, a moment of weakness or familiarity? Who knows? <laughs> uh, you give me a roll to tithe and a roll to do. Oh, that's pretty We cool. are relaxed, you but relax. we'll lock in yellow, but her intention is not to strike her out. <laughs> oh. Hey, do your best. You've been doing great. Okay. It's good to see you coming out of your shell. <laughs> she smiles. Oh. She smiles and uh, just like gets this big beaming look on her face. And uh, yeah, give me a roll to, give me a roll to do. Let's determine the difficulty of this swing. I'm not gonna hold back. She lies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh oh. <laughs> and Beretta, oh. your attack flies straight at Hay, and then you you can feel it. 
this is this is the perfect throw in this second she shambles forwards and you see a vision of the past a perfect a perfect image of where you came from and what brought you to this point you feel power run through your hand but there's something else behind her a malice that you're not used to the schemes of one other person <laughs> iori iori's eyes flash Beretta, your throw is so powerful, it's likely to win anyway. But in this one moment, Yori's brilliant plan comes to fruition. From the back of Hay's hair, her gigantic, overwhelming hair, someone flies free. Someone who is sent <gasps> off as part of a monkey miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Little man, clash and add th all three of Yori's secret action 3d6 to your act. Do I do no I, monkey business? Do I drop my swing? Uh, no, you're screaming. All right, so roll to do. Oh, roll to do complex, add 3d6 to it. You are still not likely to win this, my friend. Oh, the power, the all right, it's gonna take. A monkey oh, miracle. A monkey miracle. A monkey miracle. A monkey ah, miracle. Ah, a monkey, a monkey miracle. miracle. <laughs> monkey miracle. As the attack hits, and bam, it flies straight across over with the power of a crit. If this will not be a home run, this is a crit defeated just by schemes. As such, it's still well within the bounds of the game. Little man, where is this ball going? Where is the ball going? Yes. The ball is going to be going. Uh, let's see. I, I almost feel like you might not have a choice. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, no, actually, narrate, uh, if I could take over, yeah. this ball will fly straight out and over. Only two people have a chance to stop this now. <laughs> Beretta, you can give it another shot, and then Zyson, feel free to lock in that black stat again and give it another go. Excellent, let's do that. Are okay. we dying? Uh, we die. you get to... Beretta, you get to you can you can roll to do or die. If you okay, crit we'll again, go. you'll reverse this once more. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds of that happening, though? <laughs> I, I guess it's not really you bad. look across. This is truly a monkey miracle. <laughs> ZZ Shingard, give it a go. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, oh God, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Miracles. Miracles are one thing. But what are miracles if not an act of God? <laughs> <laughs> and in this case, unfortunately, they faced a brilliant pitcher dedicated to toppling those that mandate such as gods. And they decided to face a god slayer. <laughs> Zizen, tell me how you catch the ball. <laughs> I just, in my brain, uh... I the the pitch happens and Zizen immediately abandons base and just like Devilman runs into the water <laughs> as she goes and then she presses her foot down and actually leaps up into the air a wave kind of forming on the water as she spins and catches a ball that should have in all intents and purposes actually probably would have been way far out and there's a splash as she hits the ground. But as you turn around, COB already starts running to second, uh, already making the way. But then, uh, immediately, there's a hand sticking out of the water. That's a catch. CEO Beast, even though you could probably make it before the ball comes back, there's no point. Because this is the third out. Let's and this go out! out. <laughs> <laughs> the game is done. <laughs> and silence descends on the arena. And... There's a running as the ball is tossed up, and then Zizen runs over and slams an arm around your shoulders, Brett, and like picks you up. Nice pitch. <laughs> a good, good catch. You did a, you did a great job. That was incredible. <laughs> your... I imagine this is the part where the team runs up and just grabs yeah. Greta and, and gives. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> Good job. We won. <laughs> I knew we would. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to perfectly enact your strategy. No, 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 no. You managed to perfectly pull off the plan. That plan was 
good enough to overcome sheer luck and power. At the same time, there are some strategies that just can't stop an overwhelming force. Knowing when to accept defeat is a greater part of tactics, after all. Just like, oh, uh, thank you. <sighs> well, I have to admit, that was pretty good. We borderline cheated, and you all still managed to win. We thought about cheating, too. So, <laughs> I guess it's all fair. Beretta tries to <laughs> shuffle down from being carried by her team because <laughs> she wants to go and say, hey, you did a great job, and she gives her a hug. <laughs> really thought you were going to make it on base that time. Tomas <laughs> approaches about to talk and is immediately passed by, and there's just, like, a, like a nothing left time to face. <laughs> She's she she blushes pretty intently and just mumbles a bunch of things as you hold on to her. Ami moves up. That's a hell of an arm you've got on you. What the hell have you been feeding her, William? Uh, William just like looks up with the big smile. Ah, uh, veggies mostly. <laughs> uh, she she like she similarly like nudges you in the ribs. Everybody at the Tide has to be so proud of you. 100% plant protein. <laughs> You've really grown up strong. Smiles. Moves Thank you. <laughs> Goes to bother Socorro. William moves over. Honestly, I'm blown away. Good work. Um, how do I put this? It feels like your stratagem started with the team selection. Like, uh, motions over to Iori. That, that one, that one has a keen mind on him, but at the same time, um, ultimately, it's your strategy from the very beginning that won out, so good braining. <laughs> well, I felt like good braining. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you saw, when Yori was on uh, Dumbass's team, he, they kind of became the leader themselves, so kind of wouldn't have been fair if we had too much brains on one side, you know? <laughs> I guess so, huh? There's <laughs> no so honor great. in winning a battle that's so heavily weighted. <laughs> I guess, wow. Uh, if you're gonna say that, don't don't say that loud enough that uh, maybe some of them can hear it, because they might take it as a challenge. Well, if it's a challenge they want, I'm undefeated at baseball. <laughs> you say that, and there's someone who steps up behind you. And they turn over and stare. And they reach up and grab their carrots. Uh, and then you you notice as they kind of take them off. And then they kind of uh, place them on your head. And then just bow their head in defeat as they're just like... Oops. All right, I got it. My heart's waited on it, but you won. So that means my boys are in your hands. <laughs> oh, Beretta, Beretta reaches a hand out and lifts her chin up. It's like, listen, you have nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> you fought honorably and your boys, they're yours. I would never take somebody's boys away from them. No, 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 come on, you gotta. They need someone stronger and smarter than me. No, if that's the case, then you become stronger and smarter. You become the the boy that the boys are worth being boys for. <laughs> they look Damn. up. Let me let me see uh, how they're doing. Uh, oh. They they feel they feel just this overwhelming passion it's like you <laughs> You're right, boss! <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can... Maybe... Can, okay. I'll be strong, but I gotta learn, okay? Can you, uh... Can you teach me how to do that brain stuff? And being a good boss, it sounds like your boys must be the best! Yeah, they are the best. And we're the best of boys. Then, uh... Until your vacation ends, will you... Will you become honorary boss for a little bit? She almost sheds a tear. <laughs> I'd love nothing more. But only if you're there by my side to learn. She nods her head furiously and then salutes. And then Beretta spits in her hand and uh, offers a handshake. Uh, she spits in her hand, shakes back, and then looks and then finally smiles again. 
And then, you're all right, dumbbell. <laughs> and you're all right too, Beretta. Uh, with that, hey, dumbbell hey, seems satisfied. Hey, looks <laughs> between the two of you as she has been. Originally, she was gonna be like, "Don't, no fighting, no fighting, no, don't do that." But like seeing you both get along, she just relaxes back and just gives you a little bit of space. Um, fighting is only one step from friendship. Hey, remember that. <laughs> Uh, over here, Sorelli is poking at Little Man. Little Man is being poked. He's staring at the sky. <laughs> what are you thinking about, little guy? Eat kook. <laughs> Plops down next to you in a very un style way. Like, fans out on the ground and looks out uh, up there, too. You hear they're making rockets over in Bluebell these days? <laughs> he looks at her with a look of, what? <laughs> points up to the sky maybe someday they'll take us to the moon he looks over at the sky and goes he shrugs <laughs> the two sit and just look at the sky for a bit <laughs> these two so uh hmm? I, I can't say I was expecting to hear it, it, can, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? <laughs> of course. She steps over to the side. Okay, What's okay, that? okay. Uh, you're unleashing you're unleashing a squid ink blessing uh, in front of a bunch of people on a nice vacation. Uh, I And what are they going to do about it? Not, nothing, probably, but... <laughs> Absolutely. Do, do you know Do you know who, if this gets back, if this gets back to anywhere else, has to deal with this stuff? What, you mean I have tattoos that's going to head out? <laughs> no, y y yes. <laughs> Shinra looks... Zizen showed up somewhere else and is flexing and a, a squid got... I'm... <gasps> he rubs his temples. I'm the ambassador to Rappi. I just need you to understand that this is my headache. Uh, <laughs> Beretta uh, reaches up and pats you on the shoulder twice. Uh, no, not Beretta. Zizen. Uh, Zizen <laughs> no. reaches up pats you on the shoulder Beretta, twice. what? <laughs> Do Beretta, yeah, no. ZZ taps you on the shoulder twice and then just kind of looks and is like... I will push Shredder to the limits and see how tempered her steel is. And I might as well make it a dual package. You deserve a challenge like me, Mr. Diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> and he just walks away. Uh, William, runs, William runs through the, uh, the dossier in his head again for ZZ Shingard. Yeah, everything she does, she acts like it's intentional, but ultimately follows her whims. That is... <laughs> Certainly, still the case. <laughs> he sits down. Is like, oh my hip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Beretta. That stands. <laughs> uh, Sakura turns around and uh, don't get too chummy just because we played a game. He slams the. He like you know just kind of takes off the hat and kind of tosses it behind him. You did good. You work on the university team. Yeah. Well, what's left of it? Hmm. He kind of thinks about that. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. He kind of, like, cut from funding, right? Uh, in a way. Since the empty night, everything's kind of gone to hell at the university. There's not enough oh. students to be a, on each team. So I've actually gone around and put myself on every team so that they can keep on being open for the one or two people who do need it. Uh, he... Uh, he thinks about that, and then the empty night sure was a headache, but that sounds a little overkill. He kind of uh, moves to the uh, the side. I'm gonna drop out of a swing now. Um, extra curricular time is done. It's like <laughs> if a team can't support its weight, there's no reason for it to stay standing. Don't give them false hope like that. After all, after you've left now, what's gonna happen? No, that's not true at all. I, I understand that you looked at this like it was some sort of blood sport. I did too for a little bit. But <laughs> what's most important is the friends you make along the way, the competition, the working, the, the bettering yourself. That's what clubs are for. And if those clubs don't exist, then that won't be at, that won't be accessible for certain people. They have to be around. False hope or not. He uh, he kind of thinks about that a little bit, and he's like. I suppose something like that makes sense, yes. I've heard pitches like that before. Um, as he kind of considers that, 
and then it's just like extracurricular activities are important. I will agree with you there. But I highly doubt they're going to be. Do you, do you seriously have enough time for that? No, I don't. <laughs> he he kind of like turns over and it's like he, he kind of thinks about that a little bit. If you're holding teams on by a thread, I highly doubt they'll have enough competitors or time to even just play all those games, all those tournaments, whatever the hell they want to do. Well, in the end, you don't have time for the team. Then you're holding back the team. Isn't that right? I, I make the time, even if there is no time. If there's 24 hours in a day and I need 25, I'll find it. That's kind of been my motto. He turns to you, and in that moment, yes, I suppose that's a good philosophy. I think with enough willpower and skill and knowledge, you can even overcome physics. <laughs> The rotation of the planet. <laughs> uh, he he kind of like gives you a bit of that stare and is just like, "All right, well, if that works, I guess I guess it does." He just kind of yeah. seems to be caught up with that a little bit as he kind of keeps staring at you and is just like, "Are you?" Are you some kind of, what's the word again, philanthropist or something? No, I'm quite broke. I find that hard to believe. You're a Pietro. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I have to get used to this. I, I've kind of burnt my whole inheritance. Establishing a company to make things a little bit better for my boys, the reason why I'm in this baseball game in the first place. He kind of looks across and it's just... Decided to give away your money? For what? For setting up some sort of shell business or something? In a way. Shell that will protect the city, I think. He kind of, uh... Hmm. He, he sort of, like... Well. Suppose you're not the spoiled rich kid I thought you were. Uh, and then kind of, uh, considers that a bit more, too, and it looks... There's something else, and I'm not sure I quite like it too much. But I won't That's judge you off. Of, I won't judge you off a of fake shell anymore. <laughs> he uh, moves over and uh, reaches up. He takes the hat off your head. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> I, I kind of thought it looked pretty cool. He just kind of collects the hats and stuff like that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for a little diversion. I feel like everyone's forgotten about the horrible little incident earlier now. Yeah, Socorro. Hmm? Keep standing tall, all right? He kind of like... Gets away. <laughs> gives you like a look of like a... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He just kind of starts heading off and grabbing more hats, etc. Picking up the litter. <laughs> you come down and plop down next to these two. <laughs> this is where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> what's Sizen doing to hay? Uh, oh, what's Sizen doing to hay, huh? Uh, Sizen <laughs> yeah. kind of looks over and kind of leans over, kind of like bully stance a little bit, but not like actively bullying, and it's just like. Wow, so I heard you have... You feel weird, and that's coming from me. She kind of, like, goes over and pokes a horn really quick. Uh, I realize she's not... She's kind of leaning up. Zizen is smaller than this person. Zizen is much smaller than Hay. Yeah. Hay's huge. Yeah, I'm used to Zizen being huge in 13th God because everyone yes. else is small. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, she kind of looks up. What, you got some super cool curse power, too? Uh, I wouldn't... Yeah, it's a curse. <laughs> yeah, my blood's boiling just looking at you. It shouldn't be boiling unless you're a curse yourself or heavily afflicted with a lot of curses. <sighs> Absolutely. Hey, hey, hang on. Uh, she sniffs, she... She sniffs <laughs> pretty deeply, actually. You smell like Mitsudai. Oh, wow. How do you tell? Um, Everything that's 
Uh, she sort of thinks about this pretty hard. Everything that's bad or unfortunate that comes from Mitsudai smells the same. Hmm. That's... Oh. Yeah, that's not me. She I got shoved with a bunch of baggage when I came out of Mitsudai. It's just not... Ugh. I was cursed by the great Kokuten. And beyond that, my blood boils with the, with the blood of the squid god. Don't tell anyone. I could smell <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> I've got a hundred curses on me by the end of my life. And uh, she kind of <laughs> reaches out and, and kind of like uh, uh, bites her, her finger and then a little blood comes out and she's just kind of like, hey, put your hand out. She Come puts on, put her hand out. <laughs> she lets some blood drip on the hand and sees if there's any sort of reaction. Come on, I want to see. Come on. It sits there, and you watch, and it sits there, and you watch, and it sits there, and you watch. You're like, hmm. Nothing seems to be happening. Huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks at her finger. She probably did some sort of bandage. <laughs> you look at you look back down at the cursed blood, and like it, it doesn't twitch and move with the same speed that it did before. You're like, oh, oh, oh. she kind of turns over excited. It's not supposed to move. What are you doing? Come on. She grabs her shoulders and shakes her. <laughs> you start shaking her and Sizen a little bit. Yeah, the blood's a little less cursed. Like if it was at 100% before now, it's at 99.5. Oh, she she grabs on the the Haynes like, you're incredible. You should follow me around. Maybe then I'll be able to be normal again. Uh, <laughs> okay, are you... You said you were... Okay, I can help. <laughs> Bitch, it's like... You're like uh, medicine. You're fantastic. She she keeps Zizen. shaking you. Yeah. Zizen, you don't feel the squid blessing reduce even in the slightest bit, but you know what? Your clothes feel less itchy. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you so much. Uh, she she kind of nods her head. Okay. You are going to be my new companion. Uh, okay. <laughs> she looks around pleadingly for anyone's help. She makes eye contact with little man. Little man brings Zizen's sword back. Oh, she collects the sword and her attention is pulled away from the sheep. Hey, Zizen. <laughs> yeah? Wasn't that sword curse too? She stops. She <laughs> stares, and her brain starts calculating in her head as she turns around. You are my follower now. <laughs> she just blinks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll make it worth your while. There's plenty of fame to have following me around. Plus, okay. maybe a little money if we're lucky. And I think in general, oh, you're lucky. gonna love my friend. You're gonna love uh, all the okay, people I know. Okay. I'm gonna introduce <laughs> you. You're gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, looks partially horrified. Do you just plop down on top of these two? Yeah. <laughs> that was my spot. <laughs> <laughs> little man, little man reclaims his spot over here. Uh, you're always like looking at Sakura, uh, handing all Sakura, of these things over. Sakura does and shoves it all in in Cool's hands. Is like, you should probably put this all back. Ah, I guess so, Mac. I, <laughs> I, I I probably deserve it for the bat. See, he starts hey. running up. Uh, no, uh, I wanted to thank you. Uh, thanks oh. for making this all happen. Oh, no problem. Some would say I'm a master of bats, so I just love watching some baseball every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for making our island a little bit brighter. Um, of course! This island's the brightest, and it can only get brighter. Turns around and walks over to Socorro. How are you feeling after that? Hmm. He kind of, uh, considers. Well, it was good to take a break. He kind of uh, moves off to the side of it, and uh, it's like uh, he he kind of apparently that Pedro girl spent all of her money. Huh. Interesting concept. <laughs> Iori just like sighs, looks over, thinks about that, shakes their head. That's certainly interesting. I don't think I've heard of the Pietro family falling out of grace. Oh, no, not the Pietros. Just her. Hmm. And they have separate enough funds that you believe that? No. 
but oh. uh, <laughs> but I have to see it to believe it. After all, it's one thing to not have any cash in your pocket and to not have a safety net. Exactly. Uh, but uh, <laughs> regardless, though, he kind of turns around a bit and sees laying over there. After all, would a broke person really be on a vacation like this? <laughs> uh, Fiore kind of, like, fluffs down, like that comment actively depressing them. <laughs> turns over. What? <laughs> no, you're probably right. You're aware that I don't have any money, though, right? <laughs> he kind of turns over. That's incorrect. Again, you don't have any cash in your pocket because you invested it all being here. It's one of us. <laughs> one of you was putting your life on the line on this. The other one's on vacation. Oh, I heard a one of us. <laughs> one of the eyes blinks shut and opens up. <laughs> he kind of, like, uh, just sighs. You are insufferable sometimes, Yori. <laughs> Oh. Yuri lets out a laugh and the two fucking wander off. <laughs> uh, me... Who do you think they're going to send to the moon on that rocket? <laughs> if I got my way, it's going to be me. Maybe it could be Little Man. Yeah, I'm thinking if they should send anybody, it should be the humble monkey. <laughs> you know, if there's any people up on the moon, show them our best. Right. Like, <laughs> if we send a normal person up there... We've already ruined it down here, you know? <laughs> the third person flats onto the ground and just kind of looks up to... You know, back when I was a kid, they'd always say that the moon had seas of their own. Ah, oh, really? Yes. But... I wonder if there's any oceans in the sky to sail across, or perhaps the sky itself beyond our own little ball is something of a... Hmm. Have you kinda heard of airships? Up. I haven't. What is that? She sits up. <laughs> well, Coming. apparently there are islands floating up there in the skies, and there's different oh, airships. Oh, the uh, those islands. Around. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I thought you were saying things that fly higher than that. I mean, yeah. Like I'm sure there are airships that fly around between those islands, and maybe they'll go to space someday or something. Oh ships in the space instead of little tube things. That would be wonderful. I've only read a little bit from one of the newspapers we got sent over here sometimes about all of that stuff, but it did light some sort of fiery passion in my sailing heart. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe um, that's the next big thing. Maybe pirating in on Earth is... I mean, <laughs> pirating down here is yes. the passe. <laughs> she kind of fully sits up on her knees and is just like... Yeah, yeah, no, no. The age of piracy is slowly coming to an end, but that's because people are locking down. Everyone's learning to seize the locations. Everyone's uh, kind of like, it's all so depressing, honestly. But perhaps the skies themselves still have hope for little pirates like us. Oh, you still want to be an irate? <laughs> oh, how I wish. She uh, kind of uh, crossed her legs again. So much freedom in that. I remember used to go around with my crew and we were just oh, the seas were like our kingdom and unfortunately with any kingdom someone else came to take it and while we could defend for long eventually it just ended up not being sustainable what with the constant pressures over time and that's how I had you multiple up here yes I never wanted to leave this place uh, she kind of looks over at just the island itself hmm I wonder if I made a mistake. There were multiple points where I could have retired at any point and taken my money and ill-gotten gains and gone off and started some sort of little empire for myself on the land, but I guess Sea Legs just... She kind of, like, turns over. It's a little depressing, I suppose. I guess. Sits if, it makes you, if it makes you feel any better, I'm sure there's adventure in any direction as long as you just start going. I'm sure there is, but yeah. After a time, the magic of the world seems to just start disappearing. But this island's still full of a lot of enthusiasm. Mm. Kind of says that a little half-heartedly. Uh, let's drop swing. Um, as they're just like, let me let me roll to see how they're doing. Actually, ah, okay, <laughs> I know. Um, they sit there and then they say that, and you notice there's sort of like there's something there's something that washes over 
as their face kind of shrinks a little bit and they sort of take off the hat. I'm going to drop the other icon again. <laughs> um, as, uh, yeah, she just kind of like stares directly at you and it's like, I suppose adventure is something of a long gone dream at this point. Hmm. But I'm sure there's still plenty of adventures to have on this island. And generally just this island, though. Making myself home here, I feel like I found all the secrets out. But you, she points over directly at Beretta and then over at, uh, uh, over at Sorelia, too. You two are positively splendid, like shining pearls found amidst the ocean. Oh, and you hit a mean baseball. <laughs> Thank you. I did really good. You did. You kind of, uh... I suppose this island is sort of like my home and my prison, but I've got some wonderful visitors, so I might as well try for an adventure again. You said you'd tell me some stories, and... Hmm. Do you have any fun ones to tell, Beretta? Any more? Any more? Any that stand up to the one you just told before? I hope you didn't start out with your strongest. That was probably my strongest. I did tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> she contemplates again and thinks, opening a spot for Sorelia to pitch up, but also going to probably add something herself. Well, you said that you said that adventure doesn't exist out there in the big wide world, but adventure might exist on this island. Mm. You seem more familiar with, with this place than either of us are. What's an adventure you can have only here? Oh, of course. She uh, turns over to both of you. Well, now, if we're going to be adventurers, then we ought to go explore this island to the fullest. If you don't have a story to tell equal to the one you told before, it's best to make one now, huh? You're not oh, planning on capping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, I tell you myself, you should absolutely take any advantage you have to make a story. Because at a certain point, you might find yourself only with time to tell stories and not make them anymore. That's something I give to both of you. Then we have to go and have a really cool story so that I can give it a stupid name and tell everybody back home. <laughs> Absolutely. The name's the most fun part. You get to take an adventure and then put it all into perspective. She stands up again. All right, you three. She points at Sorelia, <laughs> Beretta, and Little Man. <laughs> We're all going. Let's go on an adventure right now. Okay. There's still plenty of time left in the day. Got nowhere else to be, and my boat's been burned. <laughs> she thinks, ah, oh, how much have you seen of the forested isles areas? Just a little bit. Oh. Only when Sorelia was trying to rob me. <laughs> you you get a you get a fucking look for a second. <laughs> yeah. She kind of turns over and is like leans over and kind of gets the little bit of the smile back as it's just like uh oh stealing huh say i don't have access to her her awful grin unfortunately mm. um on this icon but uh she makes it as <laughs> looks across at sorelia how much you get from the house <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about i didn't steal anything yesterday also i'd like to point out not a single thing. Oh, yeah. Sometimes there's bad days on the sale where you can't get anything, no matter how hard you're trying. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> she goes over, and she actually, like, she kind of, <laughs> she goes over and gives a bit of a condescending pat on the head as she kind of turns <laughs> over again. Well, all right. Hmm. How much have either of you seen of the old abandoned settlements of this place? None at all. Nothing, because I've I've stayed in the settlement. Sorelia's like sort of trailing off a little bit. Hmm. She looks across at both of you. There's nothing more adventurous than trying to claim the lands that others failed to. I kind of want to go everywhere that they told me not to go. So that sounds like a great place to start. <laughs> nods, nods head. Well, <laughs> at that rate. Let's take a little dive into the forest. Perhaps there's something that'll entertain us. Maybe a demon. After all, that seems to be what's been catching everyone's attention. <laughs> Sorelia's expression definitely fixates on her for a second, and the smile sort of remains, but uh, she, she stands up. That sounds great. Uh, we've got to go get ready, though. Kind of looks. 
Rice, guess we do. Come on, Beretta. Let's go get our stuff. Yank, yank, yank. <laughs> I'm getting yank. Yank. <laughs> yank. Little man, you're stopped. Well, we should get our stuff too, little man. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> They pick up Little Man and just kind of start carting off. Oh, no. <laughs> little Man sweats. <laughs> you come around the corner and Sorelia gets this, like, her expression shifts almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the face. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that one. What's your read? You don't? I figured you guys knew each other from pirating. No, I don't. That's the weird part. Well, I had a good feeling about you when you tried to rob me in the woods. Do you got a good feeling about this one? Indifferent feeling. Okay, Seems to be down about adventures. Try to rob us in the woods. <laughs> yeah. If I just readjust my feelings radar, then I think we should be fine. Okay. And if we're not, then I'm sure we can take. She like she she rolls up her sleeves. Well, at the same time, I am kind of interested in seeing those settlements. You think there's anything cool in them? I know there's something cool in them. Uh, hey, uh, I got a question. Mm -hmm. You aren't the one who burnt the boat, right? No, I I didn't even know that we were coming here, so I wouldn't do anything to keep myself here. Uh, yeah, that tracks. Just the same, it wasn't me, so... Uh, that rules out two suspects. Say it again, but look at me in the eyes. Huh? She, <laughs> she grabs her by the face. She <laughs> looks at her, you grab her by the face, and she's like, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing to my face? Say it right again, now? but look me in the eyes. I'm okay, I'm going to look you in the eye. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm looking you in the eyes. <laughs> now say it. Say that you didn't come down the boat. <laughs> the sound of the cicadas grows louder. Uh, give me a uh, give me a roll to do versus her roll to die. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna drop first. <laughs> you uh you look at her you look at her dead in the eyes and uh, you you just watch them blink a few times very heavily like what the what the heck are you doing and then uh then the the face splits into a big ugly laugh <laughs> what are you laughing at my you boy thought... said that that used to work on them when the tempest brought them in oh that's hysteric you thought you thought you honestly thought that looking me straight in the eyes would you don't think i could lie to someone's face as well as i can lie to the side of their face come on beretta <laughs> it's it's the windows to the soul yeah, I mean, I could cloud this all plenty. <laughs> it's good to know that you could lie so well directly into my soul. I'm not a good liar also, I'd like to point out. I messed up almost immediately with you. I bought... Listen, she throws an arm around your shoulder. She, like, pretty pretty roughly pulling you down to, like, uh, head level. Like, listen, the second you told me you got rid of all your money, I bought it instantly. Like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not good at deception either when it comes down to it, but at the same time, ugh. Oh, that would be a really convenient lie if that was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I have this great habit of surrounding myself with, like, people like you that kind of start off wanting to see me, like, suffer and then end up coming around. I don't see you suffer. You did for a second. Don't no, lie. You're a bad liar. Like me. <laughs> You're a bad liar. <laughs> Listen, my only investment right now is this island. Look, someone on this island has it out for us, out for me, out for you. Doesn't matter. I think the fact that you arrived and the boats burned wasn't a coincidence, but not in the way that he already thinks. I think someone's <laughs> after you, Pietro. Well, then I guess we should just keep our eye out while we're exploring because we're stuck here anyway. <laughs> Exactly! She gets this big smile on her face again. So, I'm gonna trust you with my back. Alright, so that makes us a crew? I... I did yeah. just come on a boat. Yeah, sure, I guess. And I do crimes! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like a pirate crew! <laughs> you say that as she goes into your house to get ready. That's my house. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up another one of them bond ups. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and it's break time. <laughs> oh my god. 
Everybody take a hot second. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Me uh, too. I'll be right back. You guys need to eat. Eat? Yeah, Beretta woke up and played baseball. She needs to eat Oh, something. yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm worried about her. She hasn't eaten. Now she's going to do Come, come labor. on. Beretta's worked much longer hours before eating. That's very true. <laughs> I, I counter that. So just that grab a banana saying, from a tree. I yeah. counter that by saying that Phoenix absolutely was... did feed her all uh, the time. I, he did. I, I, I literally was going to have a uh, little man and, uh, <laughs> Uh, Demean show up with a bunch of bananas Banana. as they're grabbing their things. So you'll eat. Don't okay. worry. Yeah. I just um, I just want Britta to eat because yeah. I realized I was like, wow, playing baseball right after you wake up, that's gonna make her tired. Right. And then she's like, yeah. Then we're gonna go exploring, and I'm like, girl, you're gonna pass out. <laughs> you're gonna pass the fuck out. Oh, Chad's asleep. I don't have the ability to kick or disconnect from call, I suppose is the right word. I'm back. That was fucking great. Welcome back. Has I berated Beretta about this, so I'm gonna berate Australia as well. Oh. Is she eating today? Uh Sorelia? Yes. Because <laughs> everyone that met up um with everybody who was in the circle went to Ami's Inn and they literally found them on their way out because Beretta arrived late. <laughs> Beretta has not oh, eaten okay. anything. Yeah. I was just like, I'm scared because she played a bunch of baseball and is now going to do treks in the woods, and I'm yes. like, girl. <laughs> you are going but to die. But apparently, uh, Queen and Little Man are going to bring food. So. Ah, yes, they're excellent. bringing a ton of bananas. They said oh, they were Chris, going to grab their things, yeah. Christian, I'm going to DM you something. Okay. Also, I love CEO Beast. I love that her name is CEO Beast. CEO Beast. <laughs> CEO Beast. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was our that was our joking name going in, and uh, yeah, yeah, no, we were joking around and being like, ah, yes, this is the CEO Beast, and we made it to the end. It's like everybody else has stupid names already. Let's just, just keep this one CEO Beast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm, man. I'm so glad that the I'm so glad that the baseball game was so dramatic. <laughs> the baseball I, game you know, ruled. Yeah, good shit. I love baseball. I always yeah. forget, and then I get around anything baseball yeah. related, and I remember that I love baseball. Roma yeah. in the chat just marking out for every play. Thank you so much for that. I, I always forget until I see baseball happening that when I was in middle school, my dad's military unit used to play baseball with other units and they didn't have anyone to announce it. So they would sit me at the, in the like tower at the announcers thing to keep track. And I would announce their ba their military baseball games at like fucking 14. And I was like, oh my God, it's like all coming back to me. <laughs> Sports are cool. 
Sports, sports are cool sports. when you know the rules. Yeah. Uh, so in this case, uh, Christian, can you um punch in Queen Demine's stats? Oh yeah. Because uh, I, I realized she did not have hers during the game, uh, and then still proceeded to annihilate uh, <laughs> a, a fucking yeah. head. I need to, I need to remember yeah. what those are. Can, can I I'll punch in the monkey that. stat real quick? Uh, yeah, you can punch in the monkey stats. <laughs> okay, done. Mama. <laughs> oh, there I'm going to pour a little more coffee and then I'm going to get ready. I, I really like, oh god, how do you say his name? Sakura? Sakura, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Ah, I like vibes. it too. His vibes, dude. His vibes gotta, are- I gotta win him over. Yeah, you got- that's- that's the- that's the hard That's the, that's my Sundere. Yeah. I love his vibes. He's just- he's just there. He's so angry. Mm. Yeah. He's a pencil so, pusher. He's he's a pissed off pencil pusher. And he, he, he. he's so like so like he's so angry, but he's also like calm angry. Like he feels like a like a boiling pot with a lid on it. And it's yeah, like that thing like, I have no idea if he's gonna like break out at any point or if he's just he gonna be. He feels like he's not that. actually playing the same game as everybody else. No, no. Yeah. He's... He feels yeah. He's hot guy angry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that's it. That's the entire it. time he's like a character from a dating sim that's like, take that hat off. You look ridiculous. You Takes the hat stupid. off, brushes her hair by accident, Brenda's just like, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I I like it because of the characters that we've somehow assembled here. Uh Dumbass manages to perfectly hit that like Kazuma Kuwabara energy that I fucking love so, so much. much. It's <laughs> so so intense. Yeah, Ana completely fucking nailed it with uh, dumbass. Yeah. Oh. Kuwabara. <laughs> Kuwabara. I didn't. I didn't expect. Uh. uh What's her face, Sorelia, to be the Junpei Iori, but like, here we are. <laughs> yeah. Pink haired best friend character. <laughs> Who's Little Man? Little Man is Koromaru, obviously. I don't know who. I don't know you. you are. Koromaru is the best character. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yes, but also no, but also yes. Is that the anime where they get into the mechs? Yes. No. Yeah, no, uh. You're, you're, yeah, you got it right. Mm -hmm. Kuwabara, yeah. getting the mech Kuwabara. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, getting the, the robot Kuwabara. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> they can't yeah, run! They can. <laughs> can't run! <laughs> uh, okay. Is everybody, is everybody good and ready? I've got to pull yeah. up a Google Doc really fast. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. No. It's important. Uh, and I've got to, I've got to do some things. Um, oh, a Google Doc, huh? Pop that open and let me make sure that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cerulea edited and controlled. Oh, there we go. Nice. Doink. Uh, did you punch in Queen Demean's stats? I did. Excellent. Your mean queen. There we go. One day, I'm gonna pull off the monkey miracle. You're gonna, you're gonna, you almost had a monkey miracle this time. Almost the monkey miracle. And it you're was... gonna go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing for like <laughs> 10 straight minutes when William threw fucking little man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> If I had, if I had perfect mastery of my music, that's when Greenbird would have played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, if everybody's ready, I can walk us through what happens next. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah. basically, you go back to Tanigashima Village, and you, uh, these people aren't here. Um, you wind up. Stopping by briefly, Ami's in. 
you get stocked up for the journey, you get your little lunch boxes. Um, Sorelia gets a certain special something on the way out, and then you all walk in this way. Uh, you head past you head past the hot spring and travel down this path. So yeah, I'll, I'll even let you RP out that second uh, section. Sorelia's like walking forwards. So this is the place where the slaughtered pig was? Yeah, what was all that about? I missed that completely <laughs> because I was hanging out with you all yesterday. Uh, I don't sounds know. Like a pain. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like, hmm, I never really got a look at it. They kind of closed that down really quick. Hmm. I wonder if someone will... Hmm. Who handled I, the cleanup? I, uh, I'm not sure. They, uh, actually, I'll, I'll roll really quick and see. Uh, they, oh, ooh, maybe they, they are quite sure. Yeah, they're like, well, um, Iori and Sakura were the ones to immediately lock down and begin the cleaning of the area. Huh. Is the random slaughter of animals common here on this island? God, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> she looks at little man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Demean kind of thinks about that. I think Demean's gonna. What, what do you think? Uh, she'd know. No. Okay. In fact, there aren't many uh, animals on this island to begin with. Like, the pig mm. probably came from somewhere else, is the weird thing. Like, yeah. for the most part, it's just bugs here. All those yeah. wonderful cicadas. Hmm. <laughs> It means kind of like, well, Little I suppose not. <laughs> no, <laughs> the animals are usually something that it's not common for sure. That's why there's sort of a little freak out about it. Uh, oh, but um, she kind of snaps fingers and then points over. You know what was kind of uh, strange was I think that pig was one that came in from Broad. Definitely, obviously, not 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 natural life on this island. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe it has something to do with that. Who knows? Is there an and... issue with people who aren't from this island? Or maybe something to do with, with foreign pigs? You gotta think, so. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone's from this island. Like, it's, but nobody can stay here for very long, me. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not made to sustain life. Oh. You gotta what? think, so. well, maybe someone doesn't want to stay here made to sustain life is interesting phrasing especially because they're all plants and flowers and cicadas it's... oh oh i actually know this one uh she starts to walk ahead and sort of lead the way onto this beach that you weren't uh, able to go to before um she walks uh through the sand and then looks over at the shipwreck over here actually whoa that's Awesome. That's so cool. Queen Demean fluffs up with a little pride, putting her hands on her side a bit. <laughs> well, uh, as I was saying, she's like running her hand up hmm. and down the sh shipwreck, like, whoa, boat, 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 boat. Uh, and then looks back over to Beretta. Yeah, as I was saying, um, the island's a little too small to like build a farm or have any like resources really grown here like you could build a small farm but not enough to sustain an entire port like um iori wants to build so as a port this place relies on trade and resupply it's not big enough to support life on its own is what i heard she says climbing up on this yeah, to me oh, like, all of the food is imported yep to mean scaled almost like a little man as she got up here and then <laughs> They just kind of lounge against the the perfectly positioned uh, spot there. It's like, yeah, something about this is. Mm. It seems like in order to support that which did not come with the island, like people or something like that, there's always some big old just, you need a lot more. People need plenty more than just what an island can give them usually, even if it's a big one like this. True. <laughs> do we know so, anything about the other people who settled here before? Uh, I, uh, time to roll from my big strong brain. Here it comes. Uh, but that's not my brain good stat. Um, uh, okay, we're gonna take the one and then. Uh, yeah, Sorelia actually thinks about that. Yeah, after doing a little research on this place, um, from what I understand, 
there was this setup, uh, I think it was, like, some private company that was, like, some, uh, like, there were, there were, like, a, what do they call it, a shell corporation? She, uh, like, scratches the side of her head. It was, like, RNA is trying to set up some big contact point between here and, uh, Tiran Raji down below. That would have been uh, my guess. Yeah. Uh, by I, the towers. I think that was 10 years back. Around the time of the Squid Cult incident. Oh. She sort of starts kicking her legs. Demean, uh, kind of... <laughs> well, I highly doubt whatever stopped them would stop us. I mean, unless... We gotta... Yeah, we got one of the perpetrators of the Squid Cult incident with us right now. Oh, I suppose so. And uh, I was Who's referring that? more to what stopped those expeditions and all that stuff. Oh, right. It's I mean, Aunt Zizi. No, really? That stupid yeah. thing that my teacher won't shut up about? Yeah, it's, <laughs> a, little bit, it's a little bit her fault, I think. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Also, that was what the whole inky thing was? That's what the whole inky thing was, yeah. Oh, it's all making sense. And I beat her <laughs> you don't... twice? Y yeah, you did. <laughs> Sorelli starts laughing. Tough. Listen, you don't pretend to be Hideo Fumikaze for a few years without learning a few things about Shinra Saizen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, it's like everybody's kinda... really bad at keeping their secret identities. Yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> kind of sits up and like goes up close as like, wow. She sounds pretty tough, too. And you beat her. Yeah. <laughs> Probably by <laughs> accident. Yeah. Uh, she gets another one of those signature grins. Is like, oh, pick a good adventuring partner. So. No, no, I am just a delicate flower. Uh, you gotta, like, mm, a delicate flower, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, where does the wind blow you, then? Where'd you um, next? Well, you seem to have some sort of pride about this busted-up ship. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> kind of uh, scratches uh, her nose a little bit. Um, it's mine. Well, at least it is now. Kind of leads back with it a little bit. I <laughs> claim you... it. It's mine now. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what you got an objection do you want to claim it for yourself no i don't want to claim it for myself I, well this i is claim this one over here then uh, it's all just part of the island you guys you can't just say whatever's whatever uh the one over there like points the same ship they're just got oh, come on half uh just... yeah it looks like i can say it actually in fact it's isn't it the law of the piracy to just take what's yours and claim it not in, like, the last 100, 200 years. Come on. People have come a long way. All this claiming, owner claiming ownership of land shit is... She realizes. It's rather crass. That <laughs> swaps back to this. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. Kind of turns over to Beretta. I didn't expect a pirate to be such a stickler. Yeah, I guess she's a political pirate. I guess so. Stop! <laughs> I guess she puts the law on outlaw. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your decisions that are... It's fine, I whatever. I the ship, it's mine. No one's come to get it for a while. It's not like anything's... I mean, well, I guess if someone walked up and said, Oh, this is my ship, I just have to walk up and be like, Well, I guess it's your ship, and then I take it from them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorelia grumbles, moving off in this direction. Demean gives another one of the smiles and flashes at Beretta. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. You, see, mm -hmm. you seem a little bit hung up on that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> she turns back around. I guess it's uh, just a mentality thing. Like, any island you show up on and any, like, piece of land you grab, you can't just claim it as yours. That's bullshit. Yeah, that would be pretty lame. But <laughs> like, you seem to hold that in, as something that's offended you personally? I mean, the boat's yours. Like, I get... I mean, it, not this boat, but, like, the boat in general, it's... How do I put this? Uh, Being a pirate's about 
living free, you know? You go around yes, planting... it's not your... really about what you're doing it on. It's not about planting your flag everywhere. Because you do that, you're stuck to a land, you're stuck to a place. That's really obstructive to freedom, you know? Like, looks around over at Queen Demean. Being stuck somewhere? That's not a way to live. She means just kind of sighs and is just, like, turning over and is like, what happened to your ship, then? It got taken from me. Uh, she kind of, like, uh, looks over to the side and is like, well, at the end of the day, Lawman came through and took your ship. Regardless of how much we want to claim, it doesn't seem like claiming more or less ended up getting you your freedom after all. <sighs> She just exhales heavily. Yeah, pirate without a cruise, just a thief of the sea, right, Beretta? Yep. <laughs> <That's the suck>. <laughs> <laughs> With a certain amount of resignation, so Ellie's like, yeah, whatever you got me. <laughs> <laughs> the wind seems to be taken figuratively out of her sails, and she more <laughs> aggressively moves into the woods. Uh guys. Oh boy. Beretta, do me a favor. Roll me yes. a d6. Ooh. Wow, we wow. What weirdo will I get? Uh, what'd you get? Six! Six. Well, that's exciting. Okay. Um. Okay, let me do something really quick. Uh-huh. I like these characters a lot, by the way. <laughs> yeah. We're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Beretta, a few things are going to happen as you move into the next area. One, you're going to receive a tutorial. But two, you are going to receive your stat up so far. Oh, Give yeah. yourself a plus one red and a plus one blue. You engaged in a game of basic ball, and that has empowered your fun. Similarly, you visited a major landmark. We the did sunken just see ship. a site. Indeed. Increase your blue. And then do me a favor, read your stats out to me. Uh, four red. Four red. For fun. Two blue for two sightseeing. Blue. Uh, two yellow for relaxed. For relaxed. Excellent. Okay. With that, you're going to head into the next area. Queen Demean, you've mm -hmm. been over here once or twice because you don't you don't abide by those normal rules. Mm -hmm. Of course. Y you somewhat know this area, but not like the back of your hand. You've been here, like, you you poked through relatively rapidly, but um, you know for a fact there are creatures in this area. Not and animals. Nothing to eat. But beasts instead. Monsters to be slain. Chew. Sure. I'll do this one. So, uh, you come into the back side of the island, and you sort of manage to put some distance between yourself and the settlement. And there is a little path that sort of leads up and around. Sorelia's tr like, you notice the further Sorelia gets away from the fortress, the more aggro and, like, aggressive she is. <laughs> and, like, she's, she is now clearly charging the way forwards. I guess we're not the first people here. Nice. Looks like not. Uh, Demean kind of, uh, approaches up and is just like, lots of crazy things over here. Seems as though while most of the inhabitants of this place have vanished over time, uh, some would find themselves residents after all within the ruins of old humanity. A bit of an adventure if you're ready for it. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, she kind of drifts over, gives you a side-glancing smile. Now, now. It wouldn't be fun for a story if you knew everything walking in, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> what do so you mean? Hmm? She she tries to speak up like, what do you know? Is it going to bite me? And then she stops, turns around, glares for a second, and then keeps walking. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe not bite, but maybe try to cut or smash or otherwise. What cut or smash? What type of... She trails off. And you see them, actually. Scattered across the island in what appear to be 
almost like riveted metal containers. There are a few things jostling around. They move through the underbrush. Very much alive. Whoa. <laughs> huh? Sorelli takes a step backwards. Bloom shades here? Really? You've seen these before? Yeah, you come across them on abandoned islands mostly. Uh, she she takes a step back. Well, hey, Demean. Yes? You good in a fight? <laughs> oh, I'm great in a fight. Let's go. <laughs> she slams her fists together. Come on, Pietro. <laughs> They didn't even attack us. <laughs> oh, don't worry. They love this. Hey, Bloom Shades! <laughs> Come at me! <laughs> you take a step forwards, and Bretta, it's you're a... a JRPG. <laughs> yes, Bretta, <laughs> you're, a, you're a city girl. You're not used to these things, but no. for everybody in the world at large, these are creatures that basically inhabit inanimate objects. The way that you disperse them temporarily and make them non-hostile is destroying whatever they're contained in, and then they just vibe elsewhere and form in a different place. So we're this doing is... them a favor then. Yeah, you more or less are. Um, this is this is what you just need to do in abandoned areas. Um, so, Bretta, <clears throat> it's time for some field combat. Field combat? It's yes, field. Bretta. While you're here on this island, you've gained a special new gift, the ATV. Active time vacation battle oh. system. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bretta, at the start of any given act of combat, you aren't necessarily controlling Bretta Pietro. In fact, at the start of an act, you choose which character you're playing as. This is an experience that can only really be given when there's one player. So, in this case, you've got a party of three NPCs. Little man controls himself. Uh, <laughs> and at the start of an act, you decide, I want to play as Beretta, or hell, I want to play as Sorelia for this act. It's about playing the uh, the character in the moment that you think would suit, uh, would suit your action best. Because while you are in control of a single character, you gain a bonus to all of their actions equal to your bond level with them. So, oh. if you grab Sorelia for an action, she's rolling with a plus two on everything. Mm -hmm. um, and that is more or less, that's that's more or less how we're playing this one. Um, hold on, let me stop the music and restart it because it just cut out on me. Huh. Mm. But yes. Got cicadas. Yeah. Oh, you got the cicadas? Hold on, I gotta restart the cicadas. There we go. Fresh new cicadas. So. Play this. Oh, this song's broke as fuck. Mm, it's working for me. Uh, let, me, let me swap it. I'm gonna go with just the normal combat theme because it's shorter. Um, let me go. Yes. Okay. So, Beretta, at the start of this act. You get to decide, hey, who am I playing as? <laughs> Furthermore, Beretta, I'm giving you a new gift going into this. Oh yeah? Yes. Based on your actions yesterday, you've been given a style similar to what the protagonists of 13th God uh, have. What? Yes, your style is known as the Free Blade. And... Beretta's never been in 13th God. <laughs> <laughs> this will develop as you play. Currently, Free Blade only gives you one ability, the Lightened Slash. While you have yellow equipped, and you roll to do to attack with a melee weapon, you can teleport to the other side of the target and add 1d6 to the roll. If you do, you drop your swing, you place your chosen attribute dice in lockout, then you immediately roll to die to select a new swing. So if you're yellow, you blow your yellow to add 1d6 to the roll and teleport behind them. And then you swap to a different color afterwards. Okay. Okay, so, Brenna, who are you taking, or Brennan, I should ask. Brennan. Which character are you taking control of this time, Brenna? Let's, yeah, let's start with Brenna, just so I can get a Excellent. feel. So, in this case, the GMs, the the rest of the game will default to the AI. In this case, 
uh, I take Sorelia. Christian, you take Queen to me. All right. Sorelia's fucking ready. Yeah, I already rolled Queen to me's roll to die earlier. Uh, what was it? It was uh, the one right above and locked into red six. Red six. Okay, so. 16. Uh, uh, oh, God. And then, Beretta, what are you locking in? I'll lock in yellow. Hello. Okay, Beretta, you're going first. All right. Uh, let's use my sword. Uh, let's do that teleports behind you thing right now. <laughs> okay. Who are you teleports behinding? Teleports behind blue eyes over here. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So you move up and teleport to the other side of the target. Add a 1d6 to do roll to do complex and then mm -hmm. add 1d6 to it. 1d6. Yep. Okay, <laughs> you warp through and you manage to crit fail. Hold on, let's see if we can beat it. Okay, like this. Oh boy, you teleport behind the target and then immediately catch your foot and stumble slightly. Oh no. You're, you're off put. The slice was good, but you're like, no, wait, what, shit. And at the same time- I'm used now... to fighting in boots, not sandals. <laughs> <laughs> now drop your yellow swing place yellow and lockout, and then roll to die to do something else. I can do drop and roll. Uh, now roll to die. How do I uh, place yellow and lockout? You click lock attribute at the top. Lock attribute. There. And then you click yellow lock. Got it. There you go. Now yellow is locked out, then you hit roll to die. And yep, you pick from the remaining two. Have fun. Yes. So basically, as uh, as you level up, Beretta, and as you gain abilities with your style, you will be able to create your own dial -a combos. Certain attacks will be available on red. They'll be available on yellow. You can freely chain them together. Yes. Um, this is this is your path as a swordsman. Uh, who goes next, Beretta? Oh, uh, let's go with Sorelia. Sorelli is going to move over here and sprint up behind the target and is going to whip out a knife and backstab this thing. <laughs> uh, in this case, the way Sorelia works is very mean. Um, she, she doesn't have many ways to directly attack an opponent, but when you're in a situation just like this, Sorelia's attacks, if she's flanking them, will automatically succeed if they're different colors, or if she clashes, she gets a plus 1d6 on the clash. They so here we go. So she is she is a backstab character. Um, and then it's like that, and they would clash. There we go. Okay, you you leave uh, you leave this one open, and Sorelia just pulls out the knife jams it into the creature's side and then swings through bringing her full body weight around slicing the things to ribbon. Nice job, Pietro. Left them wide open for me. You just shank a garbage can? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just opened a tin can. <laughs> She's gonna pass it over to Queen Demean. Queen Demean, as you're talking, like, after you finish, it's like a whoosh of, like, a bolting as immediately running and hopping up onto the rock, taking the highest position around, Queen Demean just like belts out a loud commanding yell at all of everyone around, repeating her challenge to all before, raising up her hands and waving them all to come and face her. I'm going to use Queen Demean's, one of Queen Demean's gifts, which is an AoE taunt. Yes, give, give me a roll to do. She curses in a number of different languages <laughs> as if to make sure her tent is known to anyone. <laughs> uh, what am I doing again? A roll? Give me a roll to do. All right, let's try it. Oh, nice. Okay, and then they all roll to die versus that. 3d6 plus two. Uh, they can only do it on a 666. Uh, everyone's taunted. <laughs> nice. They'll all spend their following attacks on you. And then I assume you pass it to them and get ready for the fuck train. Yes, absolutely. Okay, here they go. Uh, one after the other. All right, I clash. Let's go. Uh, you Aha! win. Tell the, me how you deal damage back to that the one. The first one comes up, and while she has the high ground, this one kind of comes up, and she literally just slams her boot in its face and crushes it down underneath the rock. 
and then just kind of like kicks off the rock and causes the rock to kind of fall and collapse on it, moving over here and waiting for the next one. This one moves forward, okay, um, and is going to uh, roll to die versus that. Okay, oh. you easily He manages it. to dodge to the side, shifting on the rock a little bit as the next one comes up. Keep it rolling. Keep uh, it rolling. And then, it can, oh my god, Demean! <laughs> wow. She manages to hop around, then kind of bouncing off of their armor and moving to the side, waiting for the next one to approach. Kind of continuing to flop on and off the rocks by hopping and using them as little footstools. Next one. Roll to die oh, versus that's, that. This might be the end. No, she did <laughs> <laughs> And then, after the final one, kicking off she leaps over, and as this one comes in, they clash for the final blow. Yes. Oh! <laughs> and then, Tell me with, how that you turn whole, this around. with that whole parade of action, she manages to bounce around, moving the entire time. Her tendrils on her head almost shift around with her wavy robe. As she shifts, moves, and then ends it off with a kick, sending this one spiraling back over to the other rocks. And then she finishes with a flourished bow. And <laughs> <Brian> <laughs> leans over. I don't think we could take her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You distract her, I'll stab her in the back. <laughs> we make a great team. I think you're underselling us. <laughs> she Sorelia's, got over. Sorelia's blood's up. She's like, <laughs> damn, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. And then that's reset. That's reset. Little man. Little man. Oh. What? Little man, <laughs> you go at the end of every turn. No. What do you do? I roll to die. I uh, lock in banana and die. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, I throw a banana at the yellow one. <laughs> it clashes with you. I was going to say, that clashes. <laughs> yellow. Roll to do. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh you playing it with the banana. banana! Oh my god. Oh, he, he what? I just imagine this yellow one gets completely distracted by the banana. And just yeah, tries it turns to around and starts moving off and then like, looks down at the banana and just stares deeply. Uh, start of the act. Beretta, who are you controlling? Uh, let's, um... I'll control Sorelia, okay. but Sorelia won't go first. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will AI Bretta. Um, we are going to unlock that yellow and grab this red. Um, and in this case, Brennan, you should have control of Sorelia. Whoa! Uh, move her around, roll to die for her, etc. Okay. Roll to die. And you can mouse over her things to see what her levels are. Over what things? If you mouse over red, yellow, and blue, you can see what the character has in each of oh, your okay. stats. Okay. Hold on, wait. Nope, roll 20 is pooping. It's mm -hmm. fine, roll 20 will do that. Roll 20 be doing it. But it was doing good all day today. It was. I'm, I'm proud of you, champ. You did the baseball section, you which is baseball. all we can ask. The baseball. All I can ask for is two hours of uninterrupted baseball. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm happy we got to do the baseball episode immediately. Yes. Same. Okay, let's see if I can do this now. Uh, roll to die. There we go. There we go. Okay, and pick whatever you want. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep it. Okay. Now, do me a favor really quick. Now that you're controlling Sorelia, tell me, you can see this, right? Yes. <laughs> Click on that and tell me if you can roll to do off of one of those. Roll to do off of this, okay. Yeah, click on that. Let me know if you can do a roll to do off of that. Okay, fantastic. So, Sorelia's two mechanics, backstabs and action commands. If one of those pops up on screen, it'll only be there for a few seconds. But if you manage to click it and roll to die in time, you get to interrupt the turn order and shank someone. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean by everyone would hate this, but Brennan. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my god. I love it. So, uh, uh, here we go. You don't want Sorelia to go first, correct? No. Okay. Who do you wish to take the first turn? Uh, let's 
go with Demean. All right. I think I know what Demean's going to do here then. Um, let's just go. Okay. So Demean uh, takes a running start and leaps up and like slams into the back of this thing's neck and back and literally rides it like a surfboard up front and then hops <laughs> off. And then it's like, kind of turns over and noticed how Sorelia was like, you know, really fired up by the cool display. And she kind of just like dramatically waves her hand as an offering to either of you. Show me what freedom looks like, Sorelia. Is it Sorelia's go next? Or yeah, Sorelia want... needs to go. It wasn't yeah. even going to be, but now it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your go. Um, okay. Banana. <laughs> Banana's yeah, let's, here. uh, yeah, let's. <laughs> Can Sorelia do a little come here to this guy over here to try and trigger Banana? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Give me a roll to do. This is a clash. Uh, give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Okay, tell me how this banana occurs. This okay, will kill so... the target. <laughs> Sorelia gives a just bring it to this guy over here. He <laughs> comes over towards the banana, and as you do, he slips. And as he falls through the air, Sorelia comes down with the shank to the center of the target. <laughs> <getting> him open. <laughs> you manage to rapidly finish this one off. Uh, who goes next? Uh, Beretta. Bretta's going to go, okay. Bretta's going to move forwards and making sure that she stays within range of Sorelia, she's going to put herself here and strike at this one. Uh, actually, she's going to put herself here so Sorelia can do some shit next turn and then roll to do, and they will roll to die. Six plus two. And she manages to stab into this creature with her sword, and she swings it through. Beretta's style is so free-flowing and graceful at this point. It's almost like it's it's very it's very different. The uh, delicate flower. She is a delicate flower. I'm gonna pass this to Little Man. Oh, little man. The main character. It's time. Uh, should probably roll the die at the start of turns, but it's fine. Yeah. All right. I'm clipping banana again. My most powerful <laughs> stat. Oh, two, oh. three. Beretta didn't finish that guy off. Yeah. I pull out another banana, and I squeeze it, firing oh, the shit. banana and aim it for the. It fires and spurts. <laughs> and then I aim for the. Spurts. <laughs> and I aim for the visor. Oh my god! Ah. Ah. If he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh. You fire banana into this creature, and yeah, you manage to. You managed to finish this one off with a with a concentrated spray of banana. He, going he blows on the peel. <laughs> Jump up, move over, and roll to do. <laughs> oh. Uh, 1d20 plus 2. Versus Beretta's roll to die. Oh. Beretta manages to perfectly defend herself from the attack. Swinging her sword back, she actually balances this time perfectly on her heel. And then the next one will go. Ah. Um, Got yeah! It. <laughs> Sorelia, take the initiative. <laughs> tell me what you do. <laughs> she's going to teleport. She's going to... No, she's actually going to run up this banana, use it to surf a little bit. <laughs> To kind of skate up onto this rock and then stab this guy in the side of the head. <laughs> so, this is a backstab. It's between you and your friend. This is an automatic success. Roll to do just to see if you crit. Roll to do. Oh! I crit. <laughs> oh! I crit. <laughs> Narrate away. <laughs> She did all the cool stuff to get over there, so it's yeah. kind of just brutal when she lands on this rock and just repeatedly stabs this trash can in the head. <laughs> you obliterate this creature! Having taken advantage of the moment, you easily close the distance. Okay, this one's gonna come over and clash with Beretta. No, vacation Beretta! Man, Ooh, this AI is no. garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Britta, she gets whacked in the side of the face by this one, mid Sorelia doing something awesome. Really need to get the make it so that I can control all of the characters. <laughs> so Britta, fun we'll do story. That in, we'll do that in fest. <laughs> End of the act. Everybody drops. And I would like to alert you to the primary ability of the active time vacation battle system. Oh, go it's, ahead. It's time for an all-out attack. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Once for conflict, you can choose to control every single ally for it. <laughs> this is so pandering to me. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, this is the only way ever that you're able to control little man. <laughs> I get to control Teddy. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Uh. So, uh, judging by how the conflict's about to end and there's one enemy left, the tutorial feels like it's leading you towards one conclusion. <laughs> it's time for an all-out attack. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Everybody drop and go. Uh, Brennan, roll for everyone. You choose what they do in what order. Okay, I rolled the die for everybody? Yeah, you roll to die for everyone, choose their colors, etc. This okay. is flat out a combat system that only works if you have one player. Yes. <laughs> and multiple <laughs> co-GMs. <laughs> Roll to die, roll to die, good, good. <laughs> I can't roll for little man. Oh, give control of the little man. Perfect. <laughs> and this, oh god. <laughs> okay, uh, let me let me make sure you have control of the the, the, the small man. It can be edited and controlled by all players. Little man is now available. And we're clashing with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Who goes first? Oh, I should drop swing and roll. Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Um, let's because I can. Let's start with Little Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you can probably uh, roll the die for him. Yeah. Nope. Still can't. Oh fuck. Mm. All right. I'll click the button for you. Then yeah. You can select a swing. Oh. Um, red, just because I, I want us to all be on the same beat. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is his red? Screaming. Screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, um, so I would like Queen Demean to mimic the play at the baseball game. Where and she will throw little men at this guy <laughs> screaming. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll roll to do. Okay, I think that's enough to get the bonus then. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, apply, I toss him and apply a 1d6 bonus to Little Man. <laughs> I'm gonna give this as a gift to Little Man from now on. <laughs> this is well, it's it's fantastic. It's a Little Man special. Bonus. <laughs> the Monkey Ball special. All right. Monkey Ball special. Yeah. Monkey's throne. Uh, roll. Uh, I need to roll to do for Little Man. Yes. Yep. Plus six, right? Plus a 1d6. Not bad. <gasps> Catches this up. one's ready. He grabs the monkey and wheels him around, but your turn's still going. <laughs> Good, because that was part of the plan, because now he's distracted, <laughs> which means that Sorelia can stab him in the back. <laughs> Roll to do, add 1d6 to it since you're clashing. And 1d6. Oh, God. <laughs> All 1d6. Okay, Sorelia stat. Oh wait, no, that's that's not me. Uh, this this should be me. One d twenty plus two. Oh damn, puts up a good fight, but Sorelia just sinks the knife in and swings around. This one's still standing. All right, and uh, Brad is the last one, right? Yes. So she's going to do the cool stab from behind thing because oh. she saw that on a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Ooh. Okay. And this rolls this. Oh, oh escalate. Go again. <laughs> escalate. Oh. 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 <laughs> Brenna, no, tell me how die. you finish this off. For, uh, <laughs> hold on. Let me let me calculate damage. Nine doubled. Eighteen doubled. Thirty-six damage. Tell me how you obliterate this one. Now we're cool. After tripping <laughs> and stumbling all over herself for the majority of this fight. <laughs> 
<laughs> using this double distraction by her teammates, Brett is going to uh, twist and turn around gracefully like a flower in the wind and then stab behind her underneath her arm. <laughs> you manage to simultaneously strike along with your two companions as this thing touches down on the ground and you sheath your sword as it falls apart behind you. And then she's going to uh, sit down on this rock in the cool motion and then say, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Why giddy up? Uh, it's it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, get on up! And then with that, you're sweeped off the rock as <laughs> Queen Namine approaches and she lifts both of you up by the legs, basically. So you're hey. on like a sitting thing on her knees. Oh, and she under stands attack. holds you up. <laughs> <laughs> that was glorious! You both did great! You distract her, I'll stop. I mean, yeah, we did great! <laughs> <laughs> you And then, with that, uh, she does not see Little Man, but then she kind of turns her head a bit and, and kind of like, Come on, Little Man. Come on, climb up. Go in the pile. You climb up the back and then just sit up at the top. This is horrifying. Ah. Little man, I'm so proud of you. You've invented some sort of primeval gun. <laughs> <laughs> she struggles back with the weight of three people and then collapses back against the, the grass, everyone falling down in a pile, and she's still just laughing. <laughs> Sorelia rolls up. Okay, I've got to admit that was pretty impressive back there. Yeah, it's Thanks. like we've been working together as a team for a long time. <laughs> Thank you, and right back at you. That was great. We all just synchronized. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, you sure fight pretty hard, both of you. Oh, well, I am just trying to get used to this sword. It's not usually my weapon of choice. Uh, she kind of sits up. Oh, really not? And then... Oh, you you seem to be, hmm, kind of addresses. You have a very good combat stance, but it definitely do see it's kind of back and forth. When you're doing what you want to do, it works great. But whenever you're caught in a spot where, you, you know, you're still kind of you're kind of a little off balance, it's very obvious. Yeah, I feel a little bit clumsy, but I, I guess this is a this is an explorational journey. So yeah, why not? Yeah, why yeah. stick with something I know? Here, I'll show you something. Pass it over. They kind of sure. stand up. You toss it over, and uh, standing back a bit, Demean holds the sword up in like a kind of a, a, like a saber stance, and then ends up doing a few slashes with it, and runs through like a what looks to be like a training slash exercise routine, and displays to you how to do saber fighting essentially, along with different types of uh, not like a you know like rapier style thing, but more of like a flowing with the body. There's like the tendrils move with the hair and everything kind of flows in that way. In fact, you feel like the outfit might actually be designed specifically to sort of almost turn this swordsmanship into a performance in a way. You fight like a pirate. <laughs> where did she you... No, where did it... Seriously, where did you learn to fight like that? Mm. They, uh, they kind of look a little proud of themselves. Well, I picked it up all over the place. Um... At first, it was my own style, but then, over time, I sort of refined it into something else. Mm. She, uh, kind of, um, like, I'd say it would be mm. the Demean style. Kind of nods her head at that. <laughs> Though, it takes a lot from Raujan saber fighting, a lot, or, well, Lancean saber fighting. Raujan swordsmanship, a lot of stuff like that. Even some Mitsudai stuff. Anywhere along the coast. Uh, I know she, this is supposed to be like combat and with our lives on the line, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it's actually great. Um, even if they beat you up, Bloom Shades will just take your stuff. They won't actually kill you. Oh, the, that's convenient. Uh, yeah, like, mm -hmm. yeah, when you get past that initial rut. Uh, the rush of adrenaline can really feel into the fun after you get used to it. Oh, uh, look at her. it! Kind of goes up and like pinches his cheek a bit. Look at that smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, Let's uh, keep beating up garbage cans. <laughs> yeah, she plants the sword back in the ground and then kind of flourishes and twists around and then pokes the finger into your cheek too, uh, Sorelia. <laughs> Where'd you learn to fight like that? I, same place as you, probably. I taught myself. 
<laughs> you taught yourself well. Thank, thank, thank you. She yeah, I to... like when you do the stab thing. <laughs> yeah, like you ran up all your body weights behind it. It's incredible. You just run up, you jam it in. I, I swear you're going to knock the thing's head off with that stab. Yeah, it's based on a lot of momentum. Yeah, you you remember yeah. her her like motions very clearly. Uh, so the way Sorelia fights is when you imagine a rogue backstabbing someone, it's a very like Assassin's Creed sweep around the target, etc. Sorelia grapples with the person and then Sorelia stabs... Sorelia fights like she's in jail. Sorelia yeah. fights like she's in jail. She fight she grabs you and then stabs in an area where they like where it will cause the most damage and then drops you it's the meanest fighting you think you've seen in a long time <laughs> she just like whistles and looks away and then looks at bretta you got a you got a nice smile by the way <laughs> splits into a big smile of her own I, <laughs> she actually feels bad for a second she's like yeah i Guess I should let more people see. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a nice sight. Beats ours. <laughs> yeah, you could say that again. I mean, you've been smiling ever since you came to the island a little bit, but for the first time, it feels like, you know, I'm seeing the real thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With that other smile, I was kind of worried for... <laughs> I was kind of worried for a little bit. I mean, after all, that last smile, it felt like... How do I put it? Hmm... They kind of tap their chin a bit as they're just like, I was worried if you could actually smile at all. Like, you know, for real? Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Looks I mean, like you can, though. You knew you knew, the general, you knew the general expression. Faking a smile is one thing. That's easy. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Demean quickly uh, swaps back a little bit. Come on, let's all put on our best fake smiles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been doing this yeah. for a while. Everyone, everyone <laughs> just like, <laughs> like everyone like everyone looks like they're at a tea party at some point. Yeah. Essentially, <laughs> oh Beretta, you're, you're Beretta, you're still doing it. That smile's oh, oh. too real. You're having a lot of fun. Yeah, no, this is too real. I'm and not having that much fun. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, little man, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. Demean can hold it for approximately like. 10 seconds looking at everyone holding this most like austere wonderful presence until her mouth starts to break a little bit as she's just like <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking ridiculous oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh do you guys you still want to go to the, the the place or is it getting late yeah I mean, it's getting late, but we could still make it, probably. <laughs> Screw it, yeah, let's go. Uh, what? Come on, looks back over to Bretta. What direction, fearless leader? Yeah, yeah. Like, I kind of know the way, but I mean, I don't want to tell you. I want to see where you find. We were heading north, weren't we? Yeah. I'm not going to confirm deny it's north. <laughs> well, we'll either end up there or we'll get lost in the dark hour. <laughs> <laughs> Guess so. Either way, it'll be a good story. Sorelia starts walking up this way. Uh, path kind of ends up here. Unexplored terrain. I, yeah, mm. uh, I'm not nervous about that. A split in the road? Wait, is that a, hold on, is that a building? Huh? Sorelia runs over this way around. and points. Oh, it looks what yeah, you that's found. A, that's a building. A building away from the settlement. Huh. Real weird. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, Demean stops. So, so how old do you think this one is? Guess before we go in. It looks pretty old. Um, yeah, what kind of architecture like, is it? We'll yeah, yeah. Uh, two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll to do, Beretta. Roll to do. It's time. Okay. You scan the sides of the building and you're like, hmm. How old you would know, this be? You're right, I feel yeah. like... Beretta probably could add her blue to this one. Is this yeah. is sightseeing. Oh, it is sightseeing. We are sightseeing. You beat the ten, and you look. You look at the building. This is Rao Jin style architecture, but the weird thing is, like, it's so old that like it almost doesn't appear that way anymore. 
a lot of the thatch is just like moldering away. It looks, it's in bad shape. This place is ancient. If you had yeah, to guess, ballpark of like 400, 500 years. This has got to be centuries old. This wow. doesn't even look like what Rauji looks like anymore. At least last time I was there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, let's take a look then, huh? Yeah, but be careful. I don't know if it's going to hold up. Uh, Britta, roll 1d4 for me. 1d4, see if it holds up. 4, okay. Oh, it's this one. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, you come into a... rather small building. Um, and you poke around. Whoa. Huh. This looks Lifton. <laughs> yeah. Uh. What the heck? Hold on. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, Bretta, you said this looks lived. Hold on. Uh, I'm no good at detective stuff. What what part of this looks lived in? Um, well, there's a bat over here. Yeah. This, yeah, this yeah. stuff doesn't look for as old as this 500-year-old building. There's bone. There's, there's a bone, like on a table. Oh, yeah, there's also there's also the bone, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you think it's the bone's house? <laughs> Uh, I don't think Bones had... I mean, this stone doesn't look that old. I mean, come on. He this, lifts it up and a... flings it. Is this a fireplace? Yeah. Or a furnace? It's it's a fireplace. Um, does it look like it's been used in it the has. past 500 years? Yeah, actually. Um, a lot of the ash would have blown away, but no, this place has been used in recently. Yeah, somebody... This is somebody's house. The hell? Somebody out here living in the woods? Do you know of anybody who doesn't live in the settlement? It's not me. Looks Little so man. Looks so clean to me. <laughs> lifts up this thing here, like these these uh, little carpet spaces, and kind of checks around, and then just like lifts up the the cow, like the little like uh, things here. This certainly feels like Raujin Seton. After all, it's got all the stuff for it. But these pillows don't look, you know, four hundred or so years old. Ah, uh, weird. What's in the barrel? Shake, shake. What's in the barrel? Slosh, slosh. Liquid. It's definitely liquid. I'm Water. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna open it up in case it's like a trapped oil or something. Or maybe. Everybody... Yeah. Cracks it open, pulls it open. What's in here? <gasps> it's rum. It's definitely <laughs> <food>. jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, uh, Queen Demean, uh, kind of inappropriate, pulls out like a tiny little like sake cup equivalent, and then dips it in rum, and then just takes a sip. I took the dive. It tastes great. Are we, <laughs> are we really going to steal this poor hermit's alcohol? <laughs> poor hermit probably burned down the boat. Oh, that's you, a good point. You really steal the, the rum? You really think the culprit lives out here? They kind of look down. How much rum's left in the barrel? A lot. This uh, looks like this looks like a supply barrel from the boat. Yeah. Oh, from the boat, like yeah. that burn. Well, it, it looks, looks like, like a, either from the boat or from like the boat that restocks the area. So like, yeah. Ami's in or the boat. Take your pick. Yeah. Well, I mean, this boat absolutely looks like it was looks like it was restocked. I mean, could have took it from the supply boat. Maybe they took it from the boat they burned. Who knows? Mm. We're stealing from a thief. Look, the hey. mean sits down on on the the pillow and kind of looks at both of you. Are you both seriously right now talking to me and telling him debating after all we done about if it's okay to steal a little rum? I mean, we I found it. Know. Finder's keeper. Come on. I... Aurelia feels like a thief with a conscience. I, there's rules. <laughs> she whistles. <laughs> You don't just steal from anyone, but yeah, I will absolutely take some from this yeah. barrel. <laughs> Look, uh, I won't even be able to take some. Demean much, slams so. the cup down on the table. I ain't seen anyone out here. No one comes all the way out here for their whole business, so... I mean, if someone's out here and they got that, they probably stole it from the store. Unless cool has got secret customers or something. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who keeps secrets. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, Sorelia is like, I've been meaning to ask. I think that guy's a vampire. That guy's definitely a vampire. That guy's definitely a vampire, right? Mm -hmm. The little man holds up his arms in an X. <laughs> I don't know about vampire. I mean, wouldn't he be burning and stuff? Mm, magic? Magic. Wizardry. <laughs> these or, two people know. these two people know nothing about magic and are just yeah. like, yeah, magic, obviously. Magic <laughs> I fought a vampire before. And when I did, uh kind of leans over and scoops up a bit more run, slurps it down. I oh I gotta tell you that story. I I I uh, they, they kinda just sit back and for a bit are just like, well, well I mean it's kind of, it's actually, it's a little embarrassing. Yeah. I kind of, kind of rubs her nose. A vampire? Uh, well, because the sun did. Uh, I didn't even know it was a vampire until the sun came out. We were getting <laughs> our butts kicked, so honestly, it's kind of an embarrassing story. Maybe I won't tell it. But you won. <laughs> you know, that's right. It sips more of the rum. <laughs> I did win, didn't I? So it's your story to tell. <laughs> Suppose it is. So anyways, and and then for the next couple of minutes, Damien runs through a story about how they almost got their ass kicked by a vampire until the sun came up. <laughs> you you sit and you listen to this story, and, like, Sorelia sits and listens and nods with you as well, and... Oh. Ah! Uh, there's a secret, there's a secret Beretta back there, hold on. This is hidden in the mist. Uh, Beretta hidden yeah. in the mist. There you go. You get the no. big O bond up. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't betray me. <laughs> uh. And give it enough time, uh, like eventually, eventually, time passes, and you conclude your story. <laughs> yeah, and you that's... were definitely going to die if the sun didn't come up. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I was screwed. <laughs> it takes more. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Oh, uh, but but that's without a doubt. A vampire would burst into flames. Cause like that that one absolutely had magic too. Like 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 scary magic vampire, totally. I say <laughs> I kinda maybe think. only his mom was a vampire. Yeah. Yeah, that you makes know, sense. Or dad. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the uh Domine kind of thinks a little bit, very deep in thought. You know, actually come to think about it, maybe it was the oil that burned him. Eh? <laughs> yeah, we did dump him into oil prior to that. And and then, yeah, maybe it was just, yeah, I think he just lit on fire normally. <laughs> you know, I always thought he was a vampire because he's so strong, but no, I think he just, just immolated a man. We just immolated a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just perfectly timed with the sun coming up, I guess. Jeez. Well, that's <laughs> fired by story if close just... range, and then, yeah. Uh... Oh. Let's just pretend uh, he was always a vampire. I don't yeah. know if he's a vampire. Uh... I, guess, I guess I don't know if Cool's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> we should shit. investigate. You, have you ever seen him eat pasta? Uh, don't think so. A little garlic so. sauce? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all smart. so dumb <laughs> <laughs> oh man. yeah I guess not little man draws a tomato and the dust on the table <laughs> oh oh yeah tomato wait just, he drinks the tomato juice right not no he y'all drinks... just said he liked it like yeah, yeah like but... I don't but... know <laughs> I didn't taste it oh uh... he could be lying <laughs> oh god you think, you think he's faking too or maybe i'm being unfair maybe he's also a vegetarian oh yeah yeah you know what what is maybe. tomato juice with the blood of a tomato i don't know i've seen him eat like a huge feast before uh she reaches in takes some run sips it down uh i don't think he's a vegetarian that's your thing. You can you can bring that to the island and all that stuff, you know? There's plenty of flowers to eat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Damien just stops there and kind of leans back a bit, and it's just like, this has been great. This has yeah. been fun. Huh. I could get used to this. 
We found a house and drank a lot of their rum. I am curious who owns this place. We should mm. probably leave a letter. Yeah, that'd be yeah. smart. You know what? Okay. Uh, Demean kind of gets up and looks around. Is there anything to write on with here? Oh, wait. Demean goes over. Give me your sword. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, the coolest thing I ever did had to do with writing a letter and leaving it for somebody to find. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, that was part of the story, right? Yeah, the part where I totally left town and I was like, don't worry, I'm not dead. Yeah. Uh, Demean cuts the bone and carves it into a little, like, sharp stick and then uh, uh, gives the sword back and then hands over the bone as well. Carve it into the table and they'll have to see it. Uh, Now we're defacing property. Okay. I don't know. No, 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 no. Trust me, trust me. I'm sure if they're living in some dump out here alone, they'll probably appreciate some friendship. That's a good point. Maybe we shouldn't know. And then she'll write down, <laughs> Hi, drank your rum. We're in town. If you want to talk, heart. <laughs> <laughs> With a bomb, bomb and cool attitude like that, I'm sure they'll love to talk to you. I can be charming, even through a table. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So what's next? They kind of lean on the table. I guess there's still more woods to explore. Guess so. Where are you going next? It's getting kind of late. Uh, she pokes her head out. Maybe we can find something cool before sunset. Yeah. yeah. And then we can watch the sunset. Getting and close to sunset. sunset. All right. Well, uh, Demean kind of stands up and then kind of reaches over a bit and, and flicks the bone a little bit. And it's like, you know, just for safe keepings. They, they pull over the bone and hand it over to Bretta. You should totally take this just in case he's a vampire. <laughs> it's like a steak, you know? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, he's a cool vampire. Just because we could kill him with a steak doesn't mean that... Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'll take the steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you take the bone. You and take then... the bone. All right. Come back out. And the sun's sort of starting to peek down. It's really nice <sighs> there's a uh, people tried to live here like what 500 years ago that's it's unreal how long have people been trying to conquer this island and still in 500 years nobody succeeded yeah <sighs> you said uh talking about ghosts earlier right yeah yeah you think this place might be haunted? If this Probably. place is haunted, give me a sign. And she raises the bone up to the sky. <laughs> well, huh. rustles the tree. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> You'd be sneakier if you weren't wearing sunglasses as the sun was setting. <laughs> you walk to the north as was your original destination, and come to a quiet place in the middle of the, uh, the middle of the woods. Wow. The air here is completely different. Yeah. Huh. Queen Demean kind of checks around, too. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Stepping up, examining the rocks otherwise, and kind of checking off. You been here before? Queen Demean kind of checks around and seems to be hyper-focused on the spot. Uh, I don't think we should be here. Or... Yeah. Mm. Queen Demean kind of looks a little concerned about this place. It's like something feels off. This you know? is a literal paved road. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about that, but... Mm. Don't tell me you're afraid of this. Come on, it's just a little road. What's the worst it's gonna do to you? Uh... You know, Queen Amin stops actually and sits on the rock. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask you both something. Eh. Have you ever, uh, hmm, do you believe in, uh, what is it? The idea of bodily prophetism or something along the lines? I don't know the exact words for it. The you idea mean of like. The future? Hmm. Not like that. More like feeling the future. See. Uh, 
Queen Amin crosses her legs on the rock and looks across. It's something that's been recorded, at least through Rod. I've seen it myself a lot, too. The kind of day the old granny's sitting by the chair, and then they just feel it in their bones. It's going to rain today, you know what I mean? You're talking like Destiny? Hmm. More localized Destiny. Nothing like Foresight, but the actual ability for people to read bad luck fate. The kind of thing like our body or senses understand something's coming. Doesn't even transfer into the paranormal. Just something that humans innately have. Some kind of conscious instinct, I'd suppose. You're saying your trick hip is starting to tell you something, Granny? <laughs> kind of laughs at that one. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. You want to go ahead? More than ever now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You're not going to learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nah, if you want to if you want to wait out here, it's fine. Uh Yeah, I'll keep watch. Okay. Brenna. We're not back soon. Just uh give us a holler. Do waves. All right, all right. This is so weird. <laughs> I mean, little man's still with us, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Sorelia mostly says to herself. Has anywhere on this island been... This is almost like the remains of a city. Yeah. Like a big castle or something. <laughs> uh well we found something interesting at least well it has to be leading to somewhere roads don't lead to nothing yeah i guess whoa that's one gorgeous tree the only one huh Actually, has there been any tree like it in the entire no, world? No, you haven't here? seen a single tree like this one. Do you think it's a ghost tree? It's, uh, maybe. Uh, Sorelia stops dragging you at this point. You notice she's... <laughs> Bad feeling? No, I don't, I don't believe in trick hips or anything like that. Little man? <laughs> well if there is such a thing as destiny i guess it's my job to cut it <laughs> she walks <laughs> forward you you walk forward and you look at the tree it's just it's this beautiful blooming cherry blossom only one like it on the island huh i'll reach out and touch it you touch the tree Nothing seems to be off about this one, but you can feel that this thing's ancient. Old, 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 old. This is a really old tree. It's a really old tree. Yeah. Probably older than that building that we just came out of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see anything else? You want to do anything else here? Sorelia's like shifting around. You notice she seems borderline disconcerted by this place. We can go. No, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not scared. She takes another step forward. You don't have to be tough for me. How are you so calm? I don't know. Um, even if it is a little bit creepy, it's something serene. Where I come from, everything is so new. Nothing is this old. <laughs> she lets out a low growl. You and your pretty words, y'all yeah, try to appreciate the tree. <laughs> 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 she she looks around and Bretta, you feel like there is a massive significance to this place. Is there anything you'd like to do here or anywhere else you'd like to explore around here? Huh. I'm not going to steal anything from this tree. We've done <laughs> enough stealing. <laughs> um, She's going to... You know what she's going to do? She's going to uh, put her hands together. Yeah. 
and make a wish. Oh, excellent. Uh, do you want, do you want to, I'm going to give you two choices. Uh, three choices. One, you tell me what the wish is. Two, you DM me what the wish is. Or three, you decide what the wish is at a later point in this campaign. I'll decide what the wish is later. Beautiful. Fantastic. You make it, you put your hands together and make a wish, and Sorelia like looks over to the side, sees you doing that, looks back to the tree, closes her eyes, and makes a wish too. <laughs> Old man mimics. <laughs> <laughs> Old man wishes for bananas. Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> we will. We won't know. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Little man has no way of registering his wish to the public at large. <laughs> I know you'll get the banana someday. <laughs> oh, this was an adventure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. Huh. Really? Worth the, worth the trip. Definitely worth, definitely worth the trip. Um, she just like looks around herself and sort of like spins in place feeling just the size and the enormity of like what this open space is <laughs> weird isn't it there's nothing like it anywhere else that i've seen it's really cool maybe my aunt zizi would know something about it she's old <laughs> honestly i'm kind of feeling a little bit of that impulse that uh Queen Demean was saying earlier, you know, find a place as cool as this, you want to stick a flag in it or something. Oh, you want to claim the tree? Mm. Mine it for all its wish juice? <laughs> How I, very capitalist of you. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't anymore, but part of me is like, I don't know. Yeah, I get it. You want something special like that to be yours. Yeah, I, I guess. Huh. Where's... Huh. Uh, Did she leave? I guess she went back before us. Huh. Hmm. Little man, did you wish for her to go away? <laughs> <laughs> you can be honest. Hmm. She shakes his head. <laughs> Bretta, roll me, roll me a a d twenty. Uh, just to give me a roll to do. Whatever you've got on hand right now. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay, so you walk away from that strange and quiet place, and as you do, you constantly feel that impulse to just look over your shoulder, like you're missing something there, or like someone's watching you from beneath the boughs of that tree. And as you go, you actually, uh... You don't really find the way back that you took. Uh, you wind up walking through the woods on this island late at night with a professed pirate and monkey. <laughs> and now that's an adventure. <laughs> you wind up wind up over here. Okay. I'll admit I'm I'm a little afraid now. Why is everybody so afraid of this island at night? Because it's a... Like, it's a terrifying... I don't know, it's... This place is... I, what she was saying earlier. I kind of get... I kind of get it. Instinct, impulse. It's the only thing that's kept me running up to this point, and it's been screaming. Old man pushes up on his nose to make it look like a pig nose and then chops his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorelia leans down. You calling me a chicken? Oh, the slaughtered pig! <laughs> You'd have no idea how she got that from that. <laughs> Poking around. And then lost. comes around this corner and stops dead. Whoa. She grabs your hand again and starts running. I grab little man's hand. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. She lets go and then sprints over to this area where the fireflies are gathering. Wow. Okay. 
Maybe the silent isn't all bad. Is this really something to be afraid of? No, guess not. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I just have bad bones. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a coward. <laughs> she shrugs and looks Hold on, around. Man, don't use that. Oh, how'd, you, how'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was setting up for the joke. Because <laughs> I'm in your head a little. <laughs> <laughs> she starts to like poke around. This place is good enough, yeah. Hey, hey Pietro. What? Yeah. Hmm. What you said earlier about being a crew. You mean that? Yeah. If you want to stick with me, I'm fine with it. <sighs> she gets a difficult expression on her head and releases another growl. Look, the crew thing. It's not something that I've had in, like, a few years at this point. Like, once you're once you're part of the same crew, it's for life, you know? Well, I don't think, from what I've learned, just from meeting you, I don't think you're meant to be alone. <sighs> How can you say stuff like that with a straight face? <laughs> what am I supposed to say back, huh? My face doesn't really move that much, so... <laughs> <laughs> she is down and then she sits down and pulls out what she bought from uh Ami's inn earlier and it is a it is a jug of whiskey you're really testing me today yeah i mean you didn't seem to handle your alcohol well but you only got to take one swig okay she uh pirate she, tradition right it's what my crew did at the very least okay i, I think i can handle it she, uh, she, like, reaches out, takes a deep swig of it, and then holds out the, holds out the whiskey to you, just the entire bottle, and then holds out her arm. She mirrors her. She, she pulls you in as you take the bottle in such a way that as you drink it, your arms are interlinked, you both staring off in separate directions. Do I need to do something? <laughs> she motions like you swallow it. You drink and swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> you both deep gulp. That's strong really as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's really strong. Is that is that gasoline? No, it's it's shit whiskey. It's gotta be bad. You suffer through the bad times together, you suffer through the good. If you had the good stuff, <laughs> you wouldn't be drinking a mouthful of it. You'd be savoring it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. <sighs> she plops down on the ground and Beretta, you feel it go to your head, kind of. Yep. This, uh, the fireflies are spinning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Or thick or thin. <laughs> she splays out on the ground like you've seen that. Thick and thin. You ever wonder what that means? <laughs> yeah, all the, all the time, actually. <laughs> you plop down and you start to talk and think about the inane things in life. <laughs> One after the other. It's like any deep discussion doesn't happen because Sorelia is just like... You're starting to realize when it comes to talking about herself, Surly is straight to the point and it's just like, no, I'm doing this. Okay, moving on. Yep. <laughs> um, and for for a while, you just lie there chatting about stuff and uh, like you sort of, your eyes like start to actually drift off a little bit. And uh, once again, straight to the point, simple. She, uh, one set of words cuts through the darkness. Um, <laughs> that crappy tree really was worth something. Got my wish granted almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that little chuckle carries away oh. into the darkness as the oh. night fully settles in. <sighs> and while you're in that semi-awake, semi-asleep state... The silence sets in. 
quiet spreads across the entire island for one hour. But once again, you two were a little too out of it to properly recognize what exactly is happening. And you, die. you wind up um you wind up spending the remainder of your night out there. You wake up in the morning, actually, and uh let me just I'll quickly do this this bit because uh this is the this is the last little bit. Uh you wake up in the morning, actually, and you uh, you and Sorelia. Sorelia seems uh, embarrassed is the best way to put it. The entire time, she's uh, sort of grunting and communicating in simple one-word sentences, almost entirely. But you find your way back, and yeah, I'm used to talking to little men. <laughs> and on your way, you actually find your way through um, the relatively big settlement. Uh, but, like, you're like, yeah, cool, let's check it out later. So Ellie's like, we should really go back and let everybody know, like, we're okay and all this other stuff. So you decide to, you decide to mentally mark this place in your mind, and you go in this direction, and it connects up to, oh, right. These are back. Uh, it winds up connecting to here. Let me grab you three. And move you here. Doink, doink, over there. Uh, which is around where you uh, encountered, uh, where you, you, Bretta, you see the banana from yesterday on your way back. Yesterday's <laughs> banana. Right now. Um, and eventually you make it back to the village, uh, separating yourselves from the woods. You let everybody know that you're fine. It's fine. Uh, Yori throws a. Yori was like pacing back and forth, but you tell him everything's okay. Uh, Sakoro gives you like a minuscule amount of shit on your way back. Sorelia bids you farewell, and you head back to, you head back to your uh, your, your house where um, <laughs> the dumbass crew has managed to pick up the stadium and actually return it to the woods where they found it. Your beach view is once again uninterrupted. Or great builders. Yeah. Or movers. And, and you come into... Come into your mansion. It's just quiet in here. And did we hear anything about Queen when we came back? Uh, no. You didn't, you didn't hear anything from Queen Demean on your way back. Hmm. Huh. I guess we'll here. just it's the morning so we're not sleepy uh you move over to your table and you sit down and let me let me make something clear this table actually doesn't look directly as represented the tablecloth has been pulled to the side and carved into the top of it is a phrase or a sequence of phrases I've taken him. Come find me. Heart. Can't ever just have a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Bretta, you stand up. That sinking feeling spreading throughout your chest. Your vacation just got a whole lot more complicated. <laughs> And with that, we are going to call session. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I love this game a lot. Oh, I'm so hey guys. excited. This is great. Little, little third wheel. Uh, little third wheel. <laughs> oh. God. Great fucking work. Yeah. So good. <laughs> thanks for playing on such short notice. Thanks for uh thanks for an incredible session like last time. I am living for this shit. Yeah, this is the vibe. We just keep it up. JRPG <laughs> out of the fucking ass. No. <laughs> we had friggin' tutorial battle in no. the woods. <laughs> oh, you had your you tutorial know. battle in the woods? Shit. The tone swapped again. I just, I love that. I love that, like, you're exploring the backside of a creepy island at night vibe. Yeah. I live for that of, like, it's great. 
I told you when I saw this picture here, it's like yep. there's something about the the electric lines and the yeah. <laughs> overgrown is like that is a vibe. It's a <laughs> vibe. So yeah, that was the combo suspense and baseball episode. Yeah, <laughs> of course. You yeah. need both. You do. <laughs> if you don't do both, you're being baseball. coward. <laughs> I, I adored the baseball. I say biasly. I loved the baseball. Yeah. Listen, uh, the best form of combat is team combat. <laughs> you like samurai sword. I like yes. Baseball. Oh, I I love your samurai sword, and I'm going to um. You're gonna get a new technique from that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's gonna be a red one based on mm. your uh your fluttering cherry blossom thing you did at the very end there. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Why do I fight so pretty? Yeah, yeah. no, brother. It, it turns out is fucking awesome. <laughs> right. Like, just nonstop. Right. It's time to end the recording. Say goodbye. goodbye, everybody who watched. Bye -bye. Goodbye, Jojo.